Here we go. Who's ready? What's today's date? Where am I? Tuesday, January 22nd. No one's unbeatable. Let's see what the patch notes hold in store. Let it rip, brother. Will this be a rant stream? No. No, no, no. We're just reviewing the patch notes. Son of a bitch. Um, big, big changes on the horizon, right? For 2019. I am, I am kind of optimistic for 2019. Like, there are changes. There's, there's new combat lead. You know, there's I, I, not Rit, Rob, whatever. I, I forget what his role actually is or, or what it's called. I, I don't even remember. Um, but, but he's the head of something. All right, he's getting paid to do something. And it feels like, well, never mind. I'm not gonna go into that. Anyway, let's uh, give Wheeler a chance. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 I have faith in Wheeler. Uh, more so, I, I, I think he's, uh, he's very capable, and and he has a good mind for PvP. He does, he does know that. Now, what actually comes and what happens is a lot. It's weird because. You know, a lot of a lot of issues we had in PvP, we would say this is broken and it's screwing up PvP, and be like, well, that's the combat team. Uh, so now he's doing the combat team. I don't know if he's still technically PvP too, or if someone else is in there actually. Um, but a lot of what affects PvP is in the combat department, right? Rob Stark. No. Um, is any of the original team still left? What do you? Well, a lot of original members, but they've moved, I'm sure. Maybe some are still in the same places. I'm sure there are people there, yeah. Oh my, oh my God, Fangers, you, you, such, you are such a fanboys. Wheeler hasn't done shit for PvP since literally launched. The PvP is worse now than it launched. So, so you don't think he's done anything for PvP then? Okay, I mean, that's, that's fair. I, have, I haven't always agreed with all, all the changes he's done. But again, a lot of changes have been made uh, to try to solve one problem with doing something else, right? Like, let's boost Siege to stop ball groups, right? When ball groups really come down to a lot of mechanics that are affected from the combat team, that's how I would break them up. I wouldn't put a tool in and be like, there's Siege, that'll get rid of them, because it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. Um, the class reps are making DC win more campaigns, that's right. That's right. God bless it. Let's 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 get into it though. All right. He helped with stamp stork neon. Um. All right. Well, I I can't. Re let's let's do the patch notes right now. All right. And have faith. Okay. Welcome to Elder Scrolls Online 4.3.0, the Rastone DLC game pack. Two new four-player dungeons, Frost Vault and the Depths of Malatar. In addition to a number of new items and collectibles, the base game features a new zone guide system that will assist you in finding content. It's pretty much add-ons. Additionally, we've added a new battleground map. Nice. You son of a map. Bitch. Okay. Do you think the new expansion is going to grow the pop of the game? Oh yeah, it always it always goes up with when any time there's. Uh, either a DLC and expansions, especially they spike up. So there's always more traffic there. Anywho, we're gonna go. We're 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 gonna selectively move through this and 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 do it. So two new dungeons. All right. Uh, okay. Cool. As mentioned, I think you turned into a mouse in one of them, from what I saw in Outcast content. Um. So one's in Gold Coast, the other is in Cradle Crush. Isn't Gold Coast part of uh like Thieves Guild? Do you not, do you need to I'm sure you don't need that DLC, right? Fix B. Two months. Here to interrupt. Thank you for the interruption, brother. Welcome back. Gold Coast is Dark Brotherhood. Right, right, right. You don't need the DLC. Okay, okay. Fang, how you doing? I dropped... Dropped in your... Oh, no. Figo is probably misunderstanding, dude. 
How you doing, man? Welcome in. Um. All right, let's 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 keep moving. Unique achievement awards are available. Completing the dungeons, including new skin, pet, titles, housing items. It's so kind of like uh, Wolf Hunter. Okay. New sets. Getting right to it, dude. Icy Conjure. Max Magicka, Damage, and Pen. Wow. Applying a minor debuff to your enemy summons a non-reflectable Ice Wraith that will charge into your enemy, dealing 18.9k damage over 4 seconds. It's going to occur every 12 seconds. That's a lot of damage. That's like over 2,000 a tick in PvP. Great stats, too. Can, can this be dodged? Has anyone tested this? Feel betrayed by the host of Platypus. Fangor should know. It can't be dodged? Well. Alright, looks like you're just going to have to eat it. That's a lot of damage. Ice far as yeah, like that's uh. They get a percent base boost on ice damage. So, buffing those ice wardens. Beautiful. Can't be dodged. Okay. It's Viper, but stronger. Yeah, that's uh, that's heavy chunks. That's really heavy chunks. Okay. Seems really strong. Uh, wow. Okay. That's a good one. The medium set. Weapon crit, weapon crit, physical pen. When you deal crit damage with the lighter heavy, you gain a stack of precision, increasing your weapon crit. By one twenty nine for ten up to ten, so it goes up to about thirteen hundred crit. By max stats, you also gain minor force. So that could be real nice. Not really for PvP. At all. So that's a that's a PvE. That's a PV, yeah, that's a PV set. The first one's not, but, all right, <clears throat> all right, there goes our medium option. It's, 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 it's like a, it's like a variation of Reliquin. I became, yeah, all right. Too, too much of PV revolves around light attacks, rotations. I, I, I really don't like Reliquin. I don't like sets like that. Where it's like, is if you keep hitting your target, you know, it's like, all right. Because I, I like PV where you're kind of doing stuff more than just hitting a target for like 20 minutes. Pair that with advancing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a, there's various good sets like that. And at the end of the day, one will be, one combination will be better than other, right? Like maybe that's, thing is with minor force you already get that on other stuff it's it's redundant to, to me where you don't get minor force is if you're a werewolf and and they do light attacks so they could keep this up it would be nice for werewolves off the top of my head but um but werewolves already have blood moon i doubt it beats out blood moon blood moon's really strong and blood moon you always want to pair with one of the high-end sets whether it's like Vo or Reliquin for trials, and then whatever it, it, you know, whatever. All right. <clears throat> um. So then we have a heavy set. Sorry, give me a sec. All right, heavy set. Max stam, max magicka, stam, and magicka recovery. Those are nice stats. When you cast a snare mobilize ability or hit a target with a snare mobilize, uh, you and up to 11 members gain major resolve and ward. Okay. Cool. It's relevant. All right. Moving on. I mean... <laughs> Right, like, who who who's gonna drop that? Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, Stonekeeper, Monster Mask is what I'm talking about. That's wow. That's, that's so that's a try and chant, but 
Uh, it's not better than like a one piece Domi. So, okay, when you block an attack, you gain a charge stack up to one stack per second. When you gain six charges, you release the energy restoring Stam and Magicka and healing. After releasing the charges, you cannot gain them for 14. 14 second cooldown. It's not a bad set for non-CP. That's a lot of resources there. That, that, that could be useful on some builds, but... I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to drop blood spawn for that. Did you know you can subscribe to Twitch? Steppo Max, thank you for seven months. Welcome back. Bring in the biceps. Decent on Magic a DK. Yeah, yeah, it would Vix be. There, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of builds that could definitely be good on. Take six seconds to charge it though. It does. That's not that's not a terrible thing though because you don't want it to be something where it's like if you block this will happen in two seconds. Because you might get into a fight and it procs and you don't need it. Because that's going to have to kind of... You're going to kind of want that into the fight a little. But I don't know, like... It's, it is a lot of resources, though. There's other ways of getting resources, too, though. I tested the set. You can't run out of resources. That's a lot, especially non-CP. That would be huge. Mainly the 5k stam and magicka. Like in combat through the fight, getting a surge of 5k in both stam and magicka is just gonna stretch your survival over the fight. So, so it's uh it's definitely a damn good set, it's gonna find use. Fix your hair. What's what's wrong with my hair? It's windy outside, dude. I just came in. What's what's your problem? Trying to read chat here. Can't wait to run Frozen Watcher on my Ice Warden with Winterborn. What this... Uh, oh, wait. Icy Conjure. What's what's Frozen Watcher? Oh. Oh, okay. It's down here. Hang on. We didn't get to it. We didn't get to it. I use it. Thank you for the Prime. Welcome in. Bring in the biceps. You didn't see the next monster set. Hold on. All right. I'm getting to it. I like to take these in live. What's up, dude? How much snow did you get? We got a one-tenth of an inch. Okay, it's gone. No snow. Fingers, you made it worse. All right. All right. We're going into... Sneak. So we can read these without heavy distraction. Depths of Malatar. Aurora's Thunder. Light. Max health, spell damage, spell pen. Max health, spell damage, spell pen. Those are great stats for PvP. Uh, when you damage an enemy with a single target ability, you summon a cone of lightning from your chest for three seconds, dealing shock every 0.5 to enemies in the cone. This can happen every six. So every six seconds, last three, get six ticks of shock out of it. It's about 7,000-ish shock, a little over that. Get a grip, chat. You guys, you, you, you guys going to stay calm? Take it easy. It's like a, it's, it's, it's like a thunder bug that's offensive, you know? <clears throat> that and Zahn's friggin' Iron Man. No, this reminds me of, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Overwhelming Surge. It's got good stats, though. So does, so does, uh, Surge, though. It's overwhelming, but better. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty fierce, actually. Now, it comes in small increments, but it's every .5. Um, boy, that would be great with Implosion, wouldn't it? Wow. I like that. Boy, I can't wait to use that on my magic assort. Raven Live, thank you for the great content. Keep it up. Thank you for three months. Welcome back, Raven Live. Bring him in. 
Lazy boy, thank you for the prime as well. Another one. Another one. All right, so this is another strong set. Both these light sets are very strong, I'd say. They're both... They both proc. They both have pen built into them. It's interesting. The one medium physical pen set... Let's, does the other one have it too down here? Okay, we don't have pen built in here. The only medium set really like we have pen built in on unfathomable but i don't really like it it's a very slow set when it procs just throws up birds and shit and it's like it takes a while it's not not the worst thing but it's certainly not the best either so but these two lights have spell pen with great five piece procs these will be good in pvp they will find a place this one's a little tougher to use i don't know what the cone range is or whatever but Using somebody something like that on like a heavy armor offensive magic build those those can exist there. All right, you haven't read implosion news yet. What? No spoiler alerts. All right. Yippee! Thank you for nine. Welcome back, Dead Monkey. Thank you for five. Nord Army is coming. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Nords are still looking good. Five piece here. All right, let's let's look at this. So this is the other medium set. Weapon damage, crit, crit. Good, good. When you deal crit poison to an enemy, summon a scavenging maul who after two seconds attacks an enemy dealing 7k poison, inflicting minor vulnerability for 15, increasing their damage taken by 8%. Lasts for 15 seconds. And it occur every 10. Seems like it lasts a while. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, and that's after two seconds. Attack. Is is this? Does anyone know? Can this be dodged, or anything? Or is this like procs? You're taking it. And this is when you deal crit poison with, to an enemy. So DKs can do that easily with their claw. Um, we can do it easy with poison injection. Anyone using that? Um, And, and, and minor vulnerability is good. 8% damage. That's uh, Because it lasts for 15 seconds. If they're not purging that, that's that's pretty damn strong. Can't be dodged. No dodge. There we go. Give me the procs with no counterplay. I love it. I love to sit there and not have any counterplay. Well, you get hit with all sorts of summons from sets. Five months from Wei Yun. Thank you. Natch Pro to the Fangrush. What can be better? This is it. This is it, baby. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, give me a sec. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, So far, then, if you guys are saying these are not dodgeable and that's true, uh, I think that's bullshit. Something like this can be dodged, right? It, 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 isn't that weird? So, because... Well... Probably can't be dodged if you're standing it. What I mean is, this thing can proc and have an effect, and you have to like aim it. Then I imagine it probably follows you around like a cone, and you've got to aim it, right? That requires you to have a build where you can move and survive, right? Sets like this should pay off. Um, sets like this are like, you apply the debuff, boom, 19 k -er. can't be dodged, right? Why? Why do it? If you're going to have things that can't be dodged, they should be the weakest in the, in, in the scale of proc sets. If you have proc sets that can't... I mean, it's just... I mean, I, I don't really need to explain this, do I? So... I don't, I don't like that part then. So... Um, all right. Frozen Watcher Heavy. This is max stam, health, and stam. Summons a blizzard around you while blocking, inflicting 1k every one second to enemies within the blizzard. Your blizzard is a 15% inflicting chilled. The fuck? This is like ice storm. Like, <laughs> on, on the wardens. They just put it into a set. Now everyone can ice storm. Oh, I don't... I don't like that one. What's the requirement... Summon a blizzard around you while blocking. Wait, this just happens all the t Wait a second. Hold, hold on. 
You just always do damage while blocking? What's the range on this? Does anyone know? Is this is this more than four meters? I should ask five, but boy, if it's over four. Son of a bitch. The radius is really small, though. This thing should be a fucking two meter radius. These should be in arm's reach. Because otherwise, that is that is way too much. About five or six. We'll see. Warden proc range. What do you mean proc range? You can block with Ice Staff and still get Magicka Regen with Lich. Perma-blocking damage is real. I thought I tested that before. Uh, ice, ice Staff blocking should stop your, your Magicka Regen. Does it not now? Range is exactly the starting range of the Sork Storm. Okay, the first tick of uh, Hurricane. Range is five meters. Okay. Lord Warden's is more than five. That's probably six or seven. I think. Lord Warden's pretty good. If you don't put skill points in it, it doesn't cost Magicka. But it... So then you're blocking with stamina. But you have to have a skill on the bar, too. They, I think they change it. they're changing that, though, right? Loss, welcome in. Okay, let's move on. These these sets are a little uh, a little strong <clears throat> so far. Symphony of Blades, Monster Mask adds healing done. When you heal an ally whose primary resource is under fifty percent, grant them Radius Favor, restoring two point three of a resource every one second for six. Holy shit, that one is really good. It's like 12k restore, 18 second cooldown. Mubs. Mubs, you gotta get this DLC, dude. Nippy. I have a new job for healers, alright? This set looks interesting for pocket healer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, rocket surgeon. All day, baby. Can only proc on one person. It's fine. <laughs> That's. It also adds healing done too. Tag it on. Get ready for the new dungeons, finger. So I'm ready, Emac. Emac, do you, you want to get a group going after this? We can, we can, we can go on and do them, dude. Good thing you just finished setting up the guard plot. I'm gonna have to update it, dude. Blood spawn's still really good. But if you can make your grunt your group run and not not dependent on that survival wise blood spawn, which you can do basically if if you have a group where you have if if you're short on healers, they need things like blood spawn or uh pirate skeleton. If you have a surplus of healers, like if you have some extras and you already have then you start to have this numbers advantage and then you can put you can put stuff like that on top of it, then you get this creeping strength out of out of numbers. You know, when it's hit live servers, usually about a month. Warning: the new DLC dungeon hard modes are ridiculously difficult. Well, they were, yeah. I mean, there's probably something broken if that's the case. Um, that's what it was last time. Last time I was doing the Wolf Hunter dungeons, they were broken. Balorg was shooting undodgeable double damage fireballs. That got halved and dodgeable by the time they got to live. So, yeah. Uh, one is bug. The other is borderline suicide. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll get it then. Let's keep going through these. So, some, some pretty impressive sets there, I got to say. There, there's a few. This one doesn't. Who, who applies a minor debuff? Who has that built into their class? I feel like Nightblade probably does, but I'm trying to think. Where's the easiest application to this? Destro Staff with just Templar? Right. Just minor meme on Talons. That's right, right, right. Templar with Power of the Light. Whew. Do 
Dude, that's going to be fucked. All right. Th th that, that, this looks like a problem set to me. This looks too easy. All right. Um, the medium sets kind of suck. Now, now, don't get me wrong. This one isn't bad at all. Especially if it's not dodgeable. Like, that's, that's good, but doesn't really scale too well. Like, in a group environment, I'm not going to want to use that. I'm not going to be like, I, I hit this guy, he's got the minor vulnerability. Like, in, in group play, they're just purging him anyway. So, I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, Smelter is a nasty bug at the last boss. Wait, this band to be able to exit the dungeon. All right, we'll we'll get to the dungeons. Let's let's pound through these notes. So we have new collectibles. Cool, cool. I always like new collectibles. Um, we'll get them through whatever new furnishings. Alrighty. Base game, new battleground. Eld Angvar, am I saying that right? Eld Angvar. Uh, the Lost Language of the Wild Elves. Okay. Two new maps split between map games. Capture the Relic Domination Chaos Ball will take place on one variant. Crazy King Deathmatch will take place on the other variant. Oh, so it's got two different mode type things. Certain parts of the map are available or closed off depending on the game mode. Huh, interesting. I'll check that out. loneliest bread maker 10 months how fast can i go in this game let's see let's let's get, let's get through it i sent you a screenshot of the frozen range okay yeah too much too much in my opinion this is such a ah dude just like if you're if you're blocking, you're doing AOE. We'll get back to it. Let me get through a lot of stuff here. It's double, per yeah, like, you don't need that on top of other stuff. Because, like, I'm not against... The idea of... I want tanks to have more things to do in PvP, too. And I feel like some of those sets were playing to that, the heavy and even monster, but... Uh, some of these things are dangerous to scale, I think. You know? Like... A, a good solution is not encouraging people to build, like, these tanks that can do damage... Um, like, decent damage. It's like Grothdar while blocking. Why? You know? Um, but when you encourage that kind of stuff, uh, it can be pretty dangerous impact in PvP. <clears throat> it starts to... It's part of what plays into the uh, the balling up and, and just survival-type builds that, that are able to dominate where people that don't have as many numbers are just like, fuck it, we can't deal with that group. Don't even try it. Anyhow, let's let's keep moving here. All right, so new BG, new PvP collectibles and outfit styles. Okay, there's a lion pet that can be acquired by proofs. <clears throat> Weapon outfit styles can be obtained the same way you obtain armor outfit styles for these teams by completing battlegrounds. Oh, they added weapon ones. Okay, cool, cool. In all cases, your chance of obtaining a new outfit style increases your performance in the match. Oh, increase by your performance. Okay, okay. Cyrodiil set updates. Oh, okay. More sets. More. Here we go. The old Deadly Strike set adds max health and weapon crit as a three-piece thing. Is now weapon damage, weapon crit, weapon damage, which is good. Increase the damage of your physical bleed, poison, disease over time abilities by 14%. Wow. That's really good. That that plays in pretty well to certain builds. Wow. 
They're not holding back with buffing these sets, huh? There's, there's obviously a lot of builds. Like, for example, like Ride the Lightning uses all bleed poison damage, right? Something like that's pretty good there. All right. Get ready to bend the knees. Stam DK, yeah, it'd be great on there. Um, buffer the Swift. Adds 4% healing, max health, blah, blah, blah. All right, that was the old. New, does max magicka, double resist, reduce the damage taken from players by 10%. It's not even put into a category, just 10%. Wow. That is a lot. That's a great survival set. 10% is a lot. Jesus. Is this... Are they? Are we getting pushed into a tank meta right now? We have a bunch of Nords holding block in Cyrodiil. Ooh, son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, let's see an order. Old, K, okay, new, physical damage, physical damage, max health, increase your health recovery by 1% of your total physical and spell resist. So you got, so you got 30k armor, 300 resist, or regen rather. Seems terrible. You doing the math right on that? Right? <clears throat> Am I missing something here? Physical and spell resist added together? Oh, is it them together? The sum of physical and spell resist. I missed that part. All right, so double my initial take. <clears throat> so that could be like 600. Okay, yeah, then you can start to scale it up. All right, that's worth a decent amount then. More tankiness sets. Good. All right. <clears throat> it's not insane, but it's it's pretty nice. It's, again, double resist and max health. It's, that's a lot. Especially because Templars can build into uh, resists, unlike anyone else. Just there, there, there are certain things I don't understand. So, again, take Nord, for example, right? They didn't want to scale things unnaturally or something, right? So take this, for example. Uh, brutality, Savagery, all those buffs, percent base. Increase your weapon damage by 20%, right? Armor buffs, flat amounts, 5K. Why does it increase your armor by 20%, right? Um, which is also another disparity between the major and minor. The major gives 5K, the minor gives 1K. I still don't know why the miners at 1k and not 2500, but that's another issue that I'm sure Fear Turbo's brought up in the, in those in those rep meetings. He's he's taking notes, he's getting it in there. But anyway, then you have racials now going from percent passive to these flat amounts. So what if you just jack up your armor and you put down the rune? The rune that increases your armor by what? By what? 50%? It's showtime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mail him a box of calculators over there. I can't even see my alerts. What, what happened? Mad Shadow Man, dropping $1 donate. Thank you. Enjoy the new ESO with our new improved recipe now with 30% more block tanks, ice wardens, and block tank ice wardens. Yeah, baby. Plus, Briot, yeah. We're not. All right, hey, let me catch up on chat. Thank you, man, Shadow Man. Arm, armor, okay. Fingers your rune armor by 50%. What's that? Oh, it doesn't scale with the whole class? Okay. There's, there's, there's a lot of stuff moving around right now, I'm going to tell you. It's just dangerous times with some of these. The, the, the more I've sat there, though, on the racials, I, I really don't like some of the racial changes. Like, um... Uh, Especially the orc one. Really underwhelming. 
when you when you sit there and and do the raw numbers on uh, loss and gains, you know. But whatever. Um. Okay, moving on. Where were we here? Okay, it's and it's whatever. It's not some crazy set, but you, you could do something cool with it. Uh, beckoning steel. Spell resist. Max health. Physical pen. Again, more. T- Generate an R that causes you and your group members in the R to take 10% less damage from projectiles. Wow. All right. New group requirement. It's just like a flat requirement. Things like this are... It's cool that it gives tanks a job. They don't even have to do anything, dude. They just have to show up. But okay. Um... Yeah, okay. It's good for team play. Curse Eater. Uh, Max Magicka, Recovery, Recovery. When you heal yourself or an ally, remove two negative effects from them. If a negative effect was removed this way, your target restores Magicka. This can happen every two seconds. Two negative effects every... Two seconds. Requirement is to heal someone. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that's broken. You son of a bitch. That's that's flat out broken. That's uh. Hey, do you, do you guys want to put purge on your bar for like eight k a cast, or? Or do you want to throw on Curse Eater and just do it every two seconds? What what would you prefer? What would you prefer? How the fuck are you supposed to dot anybody wearing this? Yeah. All you have to do is heal yourself or an ally. <laughs> okay. Boy, I was already having fun in BGs trying to break the, the little four-man warden groups running around with ice storms. Now they can just hold block and purge everything, too. Oh, oh, did he hit you with rending? Oh, okay. Did he hit you with poison injection, too? It's good. It's gone. Keep going. Keep going. Guy doesn't even have to think about it. Just pop vines on. You're good. Not just dots. Curse also. This is, this is flat out broken, dude. This is broken. I guarantee you this won't go in like this. It can't. I haven't seen anything that defensively broken in a while. It's just scary. Gilliam, did you? Is Gil- Gilliam, are you here? Did you get a pass at this dude? Were you out sick? Like, you gotta know. <laughs> you gotta know. This is broken. <sighs> Fingers, glad I have a full set of this. Yeah, no kidding, drunken. Am I going to put this on YouTube? I will. Yes. This has got to get changed. It's, just a sh- it's, it's a shame. It's a shame to put the effort in of putting in a set that's clearly broken. It's clearly broken. That's all. Um, that's a shame. Um, Cur- okay, he sent me a video. This is Curse Eater. Okay. Wow, that was fast. So you're mobilized, stunned, and it immediately cancels it? Just immediately cancels it? Wow. Yeah, that set's broken out of its mind. Thank you, babe. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. Oh, here, I'll get it on the top. <laughs> oh, sweet chilies. Thank you. We're eating chilies today. Skylace has made chili. We're in luck. So yeah, that's 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 insane. That's that's broken. That's flat out broken. That's what I'm saying. I you don't, I don't even need the video. That's pretty that's crazy to see it like that though. Um Now you had the CC break still though, right? Yeah, it looks like you're still stunned. It it's it took off the root and stuff, but 
I mean, in general, in general, any dots, any debuffs, curse, sword curse takes three and a half seconds to detonate. It won't even fucking work, dude. So that's broken. That's got to get changed, and it will. Waste, waste of time. That's what I call it. Um, sentry set adds max stam, weapon damage, weapon crit, weapon damage. When you begin to crouch, gain stealth detection for 10 seconds. This effect can only be activated at every 30. This won't be a popular set, but I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll tell you what. Okay, Tala, thank you first for nine months. Love the stream. Wish I had found you sooner. Thank you. Bring in the biceps. Welcome back. Um, you don't even have to be in stealth here, then. You just hit... If you hit crouch, you get the little eyeball thing. Does anyone did anyone try this? This this would be very useful if you're a if you're, you know, on Daggerfall Covenant and you're pushing south in Cyrodiil. Because most of the enemies you encounter will be in stealth. And you'll have a lot of night blades. It'll be great there. It's a role play set. Huh. Counter gang stam blade? No. Nope. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put someone in the orc army in this. We're gonna say orcs, spread out, scan, scan the environment, and you'll just see all these people light up everywhere. It's gonna look like a party. All right. It's it's application isn't bad if you can just hit if you can hit crouch and it pops it. It's like a detect pod on demand. Um, a, a, another thing to consider, okay, is we still don't have detect pots for stem. Okay. It's 2019. Happy New Year. It's been it's been a it's been a solid 5. All right. Surely we can put some ingredients in Cyrodiil or or somewhere in Tamriel for stamina detect pots. Okay. <laughs> so this is a nice uh thing in, in in between, I guess. Um all right, moving on. Zone guide. Sheer number of things to do in each zone can be daunting. To help you find and complete more content in each zone, we have implemented new zone guide feature. So I guess, so that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, that's for quality of life stuff, especially for console, because we can do this with add-ons. So it's great news for console. All right, fingers, leave my hidden stand blade alone. Ne negative, negative. Your progress towards completing these activities can also be seen on the map. Yada yada yada. That's that's pretty nice. Guild Trader UI improvements. All right. So these all seem like console updates. Like they're nice for PC. They'll be built into your game, but you could do all this with add-ons. I think they're just taking the work that's been done from add-ons there and putting it in, which again is good for especially the console. It's really a, good for them. Um, new houses. Okay. Pit fighting promoter Kratos thumbs down like us built. <laughs> thumbs down is, is his nickname. Is that you, Emac? They built a private arena atop the haunted ruins of. Okay, new houses. He built a private arena. You know what we need though. All right, I pitched this last year. I'll pitch it again for 2019. Let us let us make our own environments to just battle in with the housing system. All right. Leverage the system you already put all that work, time, and resources into. And let us just create like a madhouse. All right. Because PVPers would go out there, they would farm mats for it. They would uh they would buy crowns. They'll do all that shit. You'll make your money's worth out of it, and you've already done the hard work. Set up a how like an environment like just just a zone to be like, hey, you can just toggle it on and anyone can fight in here and kill each other. And so we can just have some fun. We can make we can make our own little arenas. Okay, PVP houses, yeah, exactly. It could be a good a good goal. It's not that easy to do, as I'm saying, but it's possible. I'm sure. I'm sure it can be done. It could break, but that's fine. Like you know. It's a work in progress. Things would be found, and that'd be great. Um, that'd be dope to have a BG playlist for player-made maps. Yeah, 
and 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 that was kind of like the 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 second level of that idea i i it's like at first just opening up so we could just choose to fight in there and then we could create like like the battlegrounds are cool i want to if, if if i could and i had the time i would say hey i'm gonna make a like a tiny little castle it's gonna be it's gonna be my own fucking castle though all right and it has little rooms and hallways and an intricate design right and be like all right open pvp and and we can have one group on one side and another on another and just fight and and do something cool i don't know like why not you could have you could have endless fun with that anyway whatever let's move let's move forward um can i be the lord of your pvp castle yes yippee you'll be you'll be door greeter yippee you'll have to greet everyone that comes in Door greeter number seven will be Yippy. All right, let's move on. Rick reward improvements. Instead of only receiving material from lower tier than your crafting passive rank, you will now receive a distribution of materials, the majority of the materials being for your current material tier based on passive rank. What the hell are they talking about here? Are we finally, do, do you finally get the higher level things when you do higher level writs? Does it mean that? Or what? You know, a medium set that stacks crit, do you only have 10 seconds to get 10 stacks? I think each stack lasted 10 seconds. Basically, as soon as you get one stack, it starts the 10 second timer again to get the next. So it could take like a minute to get it. Yeah, it does. Okay. You used to only get VR 14 mats. Oh, I know. Believe me. I stopped, stopped bothering with it. Now you can get VR 16. That's good. I wonder why that took forever to do but okay that's good good quality of life new motif the honor guard motif is currently available to test from templates will begin dropping on live in brp Ooh. after after completing brp 20 times now we can go back and farm the motif I just, <clears throat> why don't they put the motif out with the content dude I remember asking this. They say they do that, or somebody said they do that so that we go revisit the content. But like, why? Why? Okay. Sorry, I shouldn't be chewing in the mic with the music off. Normal difficulty, they're guaranteed from veteran. Okay, that's good. They'll also be available by completing... Uh, Wait, the style, item, honor guard, red diamond seals. Oh, okay, the, 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 okay. And then seals can also be earned by deconning Black Rose weapons. I mean, that stuff doesn't matter anymore with outfits, really, but okay, fair enough. Um, all right, new achievements. Over 40 new lines of achievements to pursue. Champion point increase. Champion cap will not be increased or subsequent updates until further notice. We are currently investigating the best direction to take the system to have healthier balance overall for the game. Okay. Good. I, I think I already talked about this in the last video. All for it. Been saying it a while. God bless it. I look forward to the champion point system being reworked somehow. So... The, the whole game is built around it right now, so it can't just be easily yanked out. So they have to rework it somehow. And you know, they, they there's different routes they could take it. I think the suggestion I've made probably won't happen. It'll probably be a, a some very varied solution. Like, um, seeing what they've done with race changes, I could see them applying the same concept to champion points. Um, they're, they're making a lot of uh, static uh, values, so they're easier to control, whereas you get power creep with percentages that scale up over time. So therefore, they may just transfer the CP system and say, rather than make something else and redesign it and put some work into it, and like, they may just be like, you know, instead of get 25% more regen or 15% more regen, Maybe it'll be, it'll just give you a flat amount. Like, now gives, you know, 200 regen. So it'll still kind of create the same issue, but so it, I don't think it changed much. 
but it would change how the numbers stack up on damage. But then they'd still have to rework the PvE content, so it feels like if they did that, it'd be a lot of work for little gain. But what do I know? I don't know. I would like to see it just... I, I, I don't like... I don't like the CP system equating passive stats. I think it's not only uninteresting and dull, but the whole thing, like, if you're playing with people that are lower CP, they can also not appropriately compete with people that have max. Um, I'd rather see it just unlock things that allow you to do stuff with your class that won't, say, make your DPS better than the guy standing next to you, but may open up a new way to do certain things. Uh, like certain skill usage, for example. Or, uh, you know, like the kind of passes we get, like kind of work like that. Like if you dodge this attack while you're using a bow, you know, your next bow will do, you know, that kind of shit. You know, but keep it simple. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that'll happen, though. I don't think that's happening. Anyway, CP system, let's not even get into it, dude. I'd like to see more quality of life related CP. Yeah, it's it's a big project because the whole game's built around it. So if they take away all those passive things, they're going to have to rework all mobs. Mainly at the high end of the game. Right? It, Boy, Champions, like, it's something that needs to be done, though. It does. But they need a good solution. Uh, Gobstar, thank you for eight months. Welcome back, brother. We missed you. Thank you. Thank you. When's the patch 21 come out? This patch should be in about a month. More bank space. Okay. CP should be just for PvE. I, I mean, it could, but again, PvE is facing issues with CP. And it's not just PvP. PvE has an issue of power creep, patch to patch. Son of a bitch. Mate Gill earned that paycheck. Dude, we got a we got a perma block set doing an ice AOE, all right? You kidding me? But all right, let's keep moving. Let's just move right through. Is this elsewhere a new add-on to the game? No, this is uh, this is gonna be Rathstone DLC coming in about a month. Elsewhere prologue quest. Okay, this week you can start the first. So this is gonna be like a year-long quest that they're gonna build upon patch to patch. There are two quests in the series. The the demon weapon starts your journey, which leads you. And concludes in the halls of Colossus. Okay. You may acquire the first quest, the demon weapon, in one of two ways. Get the free crown store quest starter item. And sealed imperial summons. And use it from your inventory. Is that free? Like, It's like Twitch Prime. Free. No CP PvP has issues too. Oh, it does. They both do. CP and non-CP. Both have issues. Absolutely. A lot of non-CP is tied to sets, but CP has set issues too. They just exacerbate the environment. The best Hobbit in the EU is bringing in that free Twitch Prime now. Thank you. Thank you for that sub, dude. Welcome in. Son of, Son a, of a bitch. bitch. Okay, so this is the new quest then. So that's on there. Um, okay. Jester's Festival. All right, that's coming. Uh, we can test out the new event. What's What do we do on this? Throwing pies is fun for its own sake. Okay. All right. There's a new throwing pie event. What else do we got? Um, Asylum will now correctly notify group trial. Okay. All right, some trial fixes. Good. Dungeons, Fang Lair. Uh, okay. Encounter with chains no longer serve. You will now be teleported to the encounter with this. And the correct sphere. Okay. Zon scale colors fight space should no longer explicitly prevent some abilities from taking effect. Okay. All right. Some more dungeon fixes. I'm done with those dungeons. I've done them. Did you have a look at the crown store data mined items? They're adding stuff like a wooden horse stick as a mount. I, I have not. You can link them in Discord. 
they have something, I'll, and and I can pull it up and take a look. Hard caps need to just come back. Fangrush. Eh, I don't. I don't think that's the solution. No, because then you start hitting hard caps everywhere. It's like, all right, I got max magic on my magic assort and light armor. I now have max health. I have eighty percent the max ar and and it just gets to a point where everyone's just maxing out. I'm not a fan of it. And, and there's ceilings on certain stats already anyway. The Guar stick looks so cute, it's a mount and not a housing item. Like stick? Like like actual sticks? Where is it? What the fuck's that, dude? That's not a mount. I can't ride Pebble Pal. the hell is this dude the pet rock a pet rock what does it move no stick horses kids play on just like those but how do you how do you all right the son of all right if if you can link me in i'll check it out death on likes thank you for two months great work invaluable welcome back Appreciate that, man. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. 5K crowns for the pet rock? Are you kidding me? You son of a bitch. It's gonna be the rock of shame. You heard it here first. If I see anyone walking around with the pet rock, I'm calling you out. I'm gonna say, what an idiot. Aunt Bosher, thank you for the prime. Welcome in another one. Another one, systematic PK. Thank you for the prime as well. Let's 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 hit the next category then. Combat and gameplay. Successfully interrupting the hack wing in his cast of fear. Okay, crafting an economy. Uh, fixed an issue where interacting with the cooking station near Echoing Hollow resulted in odd camera angle. Thank God. Really. Vori Plasm are now much better at digesting their prey and will no longer drop leather working materials. Okay. Uh, Drakithi and Chain will now announce each time a player enters a new arena. Okay. Alright. These are just like small fixes. Um. Quests. Okay. Dungeon and group content. Player pets will no longer disappear after defeating Matriarch Runa. Okay. Moving on. Dude, when, when are the Wolf Hunter things? Are these guys getting their new motifs? These guys should have the motifs now, right? Okay, I'll check those out, the data mine stuff, in a sec. Thank you. Will you post this on YouTube? I will. Where can I find a video of Curse Eater set? There's one right here. I just chose Root. be interesting to see it over a series of time. What would be really interesting is to try to watch a Magic at DK go to work on one. Watch him go to work on somebody that's got a, re you know, a healing over time going. And just watch the Magic at DK... Just be like, why am I even fucking bothering with this shit right now? <laughs> I can't imagine a Magic DK trying to fight anybody wearing this. It's a joke. How do you like your ribs? Just any D yeah. Stam still uses dots too. They don't have to, but they're gonna use at least one of them. Um, Fractals, thank you for a hundred bits. Another one. Hey, I'm new to this game. I wanted to ask, what's the best build for Sark in PvP is? I got one called Ride the Lightning on my YouTube. Killer, dude. The best. He has the ability to or can proc from something like Cyrdo's Ward. I'm sure any source of healing probably gets it done. Anyway, sorry. I'm getting de derailed. Are the motifs coming for Wolf Hunter dungeons, March of Sacrifices, and Wolf Hunter Keep? Barbecue, huh? Or do these things come like a year later? 
I, I, I feel like Wolf Hunter came out of... They're here, Fang. Are, are they already in the game? I, I don't even know anymore. It's been so long. I, it's like all the hype goes away. I wish the motifs would come out with the dungeons. And not sell them in the crown store like four months later or something. And then put them in the dungeons. Okay, Silver Dawn. Oh, okay. So that, okay. All right, then. I, I didn't know that was... Okay. Fractals, thank you for another 100 bits. Already been getting Silver Dawn. All right. They're out. All right, so it's BRP now that's getting the new, the new motif because we I did read that one earlier. All right, let's go over combat and abilities. Combat and abilities. Here we go. Fix an issue where your ability bars could appear desync from actual little weapon you were holding. Yeah, okay. Fix an issue where crowd control abilities could cause targets to get stuck in water. What does that mean? Does that mean you can CC break in water now? Because uh, crowd control abilities don't get you stuck in water. You just can't do anything when you're in water. So you get stuck as a result. You can still get rooted, but you can't roll dodge. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, successfully heavy attacking a target that is blocking will now provide half the resources rather than none. This means if your heavy attack will restore 2100 stamina normally and the target blocks it, it will now restore 1080 rather than zero. Ooh, I like that. This change aimed at retracting from some of the popular counterplay that is mechanic previously provided. Uh, change now helps. Still helps. Uh, thoughtful gameplay where meaningful activation of a block can determine the flow of combat with less stark contrast. This is nice. I like that. I dig. Alright, next one. All pets will now inherit your bonuses and derive stats. This means your critical hit chance, critical hit multipliers, champion points, and other percent damage or healing amplifications will be Applied to any pet you summon. Wow. I'm getting ready for that Necro. The days of the Necro are on the rise, baby. Let's see what the developer comment is. Getting ready for that Necro, I imagine. Is even making stat scaling system easier to understand in the long run? When you increase your damage, your pets will now follow and scale as such. This is part of the ongoing process to make pets clearer and more enjoyable to use. Well, it just makes sense. So that's good. I, I like it. Okay. Enchants uh, on one-handed weapons will now be half the potency of the... With this said, it'll be interesting to see how these test out. Um, what I what I don't like about the Zerg pets and stuff that got changed is they're like they're stupid to attack and focus now. It's almost like their damage is understood and you should just accept it. <clears throat> like certain because they're, they're, these things are going to be stronger now. Fingers Warden Net Chilling. Plus curse here. What do you mean, warden net chilling? The bear critten. Yeah, the bear can hit really hard. Healing pet might get buffed from CP and PvP. The netch is a pet. Yes. But he doesn't heal. This me, my maul. Um, we're cold and bear. Yeah, I, I don't know. It heals when you destroy and resummon the pet. Right. Okay, but it's not really the pet healing. As far as I understand. 
Like it's just your passive. If you're ta- if we're talking about the passives, then that's just the passive. So, but okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm I'm, I'm thinking of all the. So you test like the Sork pet. Does that heal? And crit heal then because crit multipliers did not apply for healing normal players healing now maybe it'll apply for the pets healing which is kind of a not how it should work would it boost the net recovery no that's what i mean like those things are built into the pet and static you can't crit restore stamina or magicka but um I just okay. I mean pet pet pets will be stronger and and I I I like the change though like your all your all your passives should apply properly to things such as the pet. Um they'll just have to really see about that. What I don't like about Sork pets currently is they're like so much they 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 buff them up to the point they don't die uh defensively. Pet healing's bugged at the moment for Twilight. It's double dipping. So say it heals a player for 7k, but the Twilight heals itself for 14. Got you. Yeah, I, I feel there's a lot of things uh, that are in a hole there. Um, but it affects leans now. No, it's just a that's just a graphic that plays. It's not really a pet. Now the mall should affect the mall pet. Werewolf pet, yeah, it would affect that. Um, okay, let's 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 keep moving then. Enchants on one-handed weapons will now be half the potency of those on two-handed. This will apply the damage and effectiveness of enchants, but will not affect the cooldown. This means the enchant that would normally have a four-second cooldown for K will only deal two K. Change is made to better align the functionality and differences between one-handed and two-handed weapons. Damn. Uh, this this change has been talked about for a while to happen. I'm not surprised it's happened. Um, it's a big punch to dual wield. No doubt about it. Um, but you know the the uh, unintended one here. What about sword and board? Right. What about what about tanks? They get hit with that. You know? Because it's not like Doyle to be bad now. Rending is still deadly effective. And then, like, Spin to Win is really the thing where you can't get rid of Dual Wield because me- Melee doesn't really have another option. Cleave isn't good. It doesn't function properly. It's It's not... It's not server friendly. You could cleave over somebody, you completely miss them because of the discrepancy of where they're actually at. Where spin to win is large enough, it has it has the radius to to be so effective in fights. So, two handed comeback. This isn't a buff to two handed. It's a comparative, you know, difference there. Um, Most endgame tanks and PV are running a less staff on back bar anyways, but I don't feel like we should have to be forced into that for better chance. Agreed. And maybe they can make a fix to that by being like, listen, if you equip a sword with a shield, whether they build it in on the back end or somehow throw it in through a passive that it doubles the effectiveness on that one-handed weapon and essentially brings it back. So they're, de- they're decreasing one-handed enchants, not increasing two-handed. That's correct. Just trying to bounce it. If you're using dual wield, you're getting twice the enchant power there. It's part of the part of the effectiveness boost of dual wield. It's part of the reason you want to run it. But um, so are, so is rending and all that stuff in there. Okay. Let's keep moving. Bus and debus fix an issue or major or minor evasion were affecting skills they should have not been. Cool. <laughs> Affecting trap beast. 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay. How to pass in the sword and board line. That's just doubles even. I just, I just said that. Am I muted? That would be a good idea. That, and, and they should do that. They shouldn't let it go and be like, that's a good idea. We'll put it in in five months. They should do that. I wouldn't want to see sword and board people get punished for that. Wouldn't make sense. Uh, Mr. Rusty, thank you for five months high fang and chat continuing to bend the knee. Welcome back. Thank you. The only issue with that 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 change here, okay? It's like if you're using two damage enchants, it's like whatever. You you, you know you, you you did get hit. Their their half is strong, but what this does do is it makes certain enchants not able to be used here, which again will impact sword and board. Say you had on your sword and board was your you know uh your your penetration um debuff well you can't put it there now it's going to be half as strong you have to put it on a two-hander same thing for pve you have to put your weapon damage on the bow back bar you have to if you try to put it on the front bar it's going to be half the weapon damage it's not going to be worth using that part's kind of shitty okay so yeah, you know. I went downstairs to watch you on the TV and still hella quiet. I'm quiet? Is that what you're saying? I'm quiet? Well, it shouldn't be. Anyway, all right. Fixed, fixed evasion impacts there. Abilities that provide major buffs are not associated with healing or damage will now apply to a maximum of 12 targets below are the abilities affected by this change. Um, so Frost Cloak and its morphs now affect 12 instead of 6. Wow. That's the, uh, that's, that's the Warden one. Um, Molten Weapons, the, the DK weapon buff, now hits 12 instead of 6. Rapid Maneuvers and morphs now hit 12 instead of 2. Rapids was hitting two people. Warhorn is now 12 instead of 24. Everything got changed to 12. Are we are we changing the max group size? Are we finally moving it to 12? It's a typo, 12 instead of 24, I see. Okay, that's a typo. So that should have been twenty-four. I was gonna say, that's that wasn't correct. It it definitely hit more than two. Okay. Developer comment. Due to the structure of our group size and targeting system is in place, we wanted a healthier balance in terms of how abilities hit targets. Previously, many abilities only hit six players such as Molten Weapons and whatever, uh, while the other abilities hit 24, which left a large disparity in the performance and how groups engage with them. We used the trial group size as a healthy medium since it was the middle of a four-player dungeon content and large-scale warfare in Cyrodiil. Please note that we consider abilities that heal or do damage as higher impact, thus their additional affixes will continue to on only hit six targets for the time being. Okay. Fix an issue where gaining any source of empower would override the previous one. Good. I don't think they've done that for major expeditions, still. If someone pops a speed pot, which... LOL, who's going to use speed pot since, since they were gutted? But if you use that and then you get rapids, then you use a skill and rapids falls off, your major expedition's gone. You know? So... Dragon Knight. All right, here we go. Some class stuff. Harry, Bammy, Tam, Tam, man, what's what's going on? Take it easy, dude. Don't look lonely. Okay. All right, lonely. Make sure they 
Make sure everyone stays in order then. Dragonite. Draconic power, spiked armor, fix an issue where the damage return of this ability and it's more supplied before attack may be completed. Which could prevent bonuses such as stealth to apply the damage return will now fire after the attack has been completed rather than when it began. Gilliam did this. God bless it, Gilliam. He said he'd get it done. You Nightblades can thank me later. I was playing Nightblade and discovered this bug. I was like, why, why, why does it work like that? Always been like that. All right. Don't say I never did anything for you, Nightblades. Okay. Earthen Heart, Obsidian Shard, fix an issue where the heal from this ability in its more sword is not prioritizing players over pets. Oh, wow. Okay. Nightblade, Assassination, Mark Target, updated the death recap hint for this ability to more accurately describe its functionality. Oh, <laughs> they should tell us what the death recap hint is. Shadow. Shadow Cloak, fix an issue where this ability in its more sword being... Removed from damage over time effects from siege weaponry that was applied to your character, such as fire ballistas, damage over time. What? I don't understand. Fix an issue with this ability and its morse were being removed? Does it mean you can get hit by siege and you're still in cloak? The non-cloak morph of cloak mitigated dots. Oh, the chat. Oh, it's the other morph, right? Not the stealth, right? Siege would cleanse your major vitality. Oh, wow. I think it's about dot damage. All right, are we talking about the same thing, guys? Siege dot ticks would break your stealth. Yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with that? These guys broke the skill. All right. Maybe it's a difference in opinion. I think if you get a ballista bolt fired into you and you're on fire, you should take care of the fire before you go invisible. Maybe. Just my opinion. I don't know. Moving along, yeah. <laughs> There's no sneaking away from Ballista Shot when you're on fire. That's right, Emac. I think it's about the dot pulling you out of cloak. All right, then I disagree. I wholeheartedly disagree with this. All right. Siege is already a piece of shit. All right. How's this interact with ground target ones? Probably just the damage over time ones. I think it's just the cloak being affected, not necessarily the stealth part. All right, we're going to make a Nightblade on the PTS, and we're going to shoot it with Siege. All right, we have Small Sun Fangrush, actually. Emac, I want you to shoot Small Sun with Siege. If I go into stealth and I'm on fire, I'm going to disagree with it. All right. Stealth should not be a cleanse to flame damage from siege. From fucking siege. Okay? Do not agree. Do not agree. How's that work? Nightblade. You get your Nightblade out and he's immune to siege damage, baby. Is he on fire? <laughs> not with the Nightblade. He's, he's invisible, actually. Doesn't make sense. Stealth already suppresses all other dots. Why would it be different there? Because it's Siege. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it at all. Oils too then, right? Oils? Fuck no. Fuck no. Doesn't make sense. Nothing can hurt small size. Yeah, okay. I'm going to fight back on this one. That's all I'm saying. Don't agree. 
Cloak suppresses all dots. Why? It's not cleansing, does it? It just keeps ticking. That's what I thought. You go into stealth, you're still taking damage, right? Because we don't have a purge or heals. I don't have a fucking purge either, dude. My, my 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 stem sort doesn't come with I got one after one and a half seconds. <laughs> the Templar have a harder time with siege and night blades. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Cloak still debugs health because of this very reason. It's suppressing damage, but the damage is still going through. Yeah, like the Dawnbreakers. If you don't break a guy in cloak, yeah, it all desyncs because of that. Cloak needs a rework, TBH. Yeah, I think so. Stealth can give you the extra bonuses or whatever it does. Give you some stealth bonus. Puts you fucking invisible. Okay. But you telling me you're getting siege immunity power? The fuck out of here. Invisibility does not does not equal a fire suit on the battlefield. All right, leave my nightblade alone. I will not jinx. This is this is dumb. That is so dumb. That means it'll work on oils too. Oh, oils coming down, guys. Uh, we're gonna need purges. It's cool. I'm a nightblade. Don't don't worry about it. I'm going invisible. It's all good. I don't have a heal in my class, so I get a purge. It's cool. Move along. Kothak, I'm going to move along at my rate. All right? This is a buff if you're AD. It is. Cloak is apparently offensive, defensive, and replacing Seed Shield now. Yep. Get in there. That's how it worked before the unintended change. Well, it's stupid. Okay, Cloak's been stupid for a while. It really has. Just can't get that skill right. I don't know how to just make it a skill that that actually just makes you invisible. Just can't seem to work that in there. Okay. Sorcerer, Daedric Summoning. Updated the tooltips for all the summons to better indicate the damage and healing they provide. Storm Calling. Boundless Storm. Reduce the cost of this ability. It's morphed by three, 34%. After the recent changes to sources of Major Expedition, the morph of Boundless highlighted a problem with this ability where its cost was far too high for the operational power that it provided. We've based the new cost to be more in, in line with other sources. In turn, this has brought Boundless to a much better state with a shorter duration on the expedition can be offset with a lesser cost. Okay. Implosion. Rename this to Amplitude. This passive is now a reverse execute mechanic and increases your damage against targets by 1% for every 10% they currently have. The minimum bonus is 1%. Change is aimed at helping sorcerers' damage production go up while helping them in the targeted gameplay pattern of getting targets into specific health thresholds, detracting from the feeling of uncontrollable burst for the caster and sudden moments of low telegraphed high damage for the target. The, the implosion change. It was aimed at helping sorcerer's damage production go up <clears throat> while helping them in the targeted gameplay pattern of getting targets. I guess they mean the, the knocking them down and executing. Well, overall, I don't think that's that bad for Magic Asorc. I don't think this is... Here's the thing. Magic Asorc has Endless Fury. Did they implode people at times? Yeah, absolutely. Stamp Sork was kind of built to implode. 
I think this is a much heavier hit for Stam Sark. Now they can get a percent damage boost on on higher level targets, but they're they don't have they don't have something. They're 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 losing something. Stam Sarks are losing something. And this fury is dumb. It, it it is kind of dumb, but the the point is they have a they have something that's about the best in the game at, at doing what it does. It kind of did what Implosion did. Um. Initiate with a Dawnbreaker will be increased damage, and then Tornado and Execute. Yeah, e Emac, it's it's not terrible in, in that sense, right? It, it really isn't. Um, there's certain, like... He, okay, here's where it does hit you, Emac. In the current meta, it's a lot of dual wield. Um, like, I, I have... The build I use is dual wield and bow. Could also do dual wield and two hander, and two hander's just a back bar weapon. But not much two hander up front. Because that would be nice with like wrecking blow to initiate a target with a heavy hit. But those heavy hits don't really exist. Stam Sark doesn't really have anything for it. I don't know. This also it also really affects werewolf and execute range. Is this going to be a gain? Has anyone tried this in PvE? Like, has Alcas tried, like, or, or any of those dudes? Have they done things? Is Did Sork improve its damage overall with this? Um, I'm sure it would in PvE doing a rotation over time, but... Um, yeah, obviously the PvP impact is different. It's it's not like it's worthless, though. Like, you will you will get a big damage boost off that still. Um, Stam Endless Fury, please. Yeah, bu yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. How about Bloodthirsty with Amplitude? What? Amplitude. So this this passive gets worse as the target gets lower. Crowther, thank you for 13 months. Good morning. Fuck you. God bless. Welcome back, Crowther. Thank you for the resub, brother. I saw a good set in here, Krotha, to fight DKs with. Okay. The purge is every two seconds. Would you, you want a 1v1 on your DK? Let's do it, dude. It's the anti-DK set. I haven't, but basic math said it will be nice little increase of DPS. Reverse execute, yes. Percent three is big damage, question mark? I don't understand the question. What does reverse execute mean? It just means that, okay, they they probably shouldn't use the word execute because everyone ex assigns execute with the target is in a threshold and now it's taking amp damage. They're working, they're saying it, it works the opposite, all right? So at max health, I mean, it says it right here. It'll take 10% here. In this range, it'll take 9, 8, 7, 6. So as your target gets lower health, you're dealing less bonus damage, is, is what it means. You can't purge dunks or whips. Ain't that the truth. Okay. Higher start damage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's all there. I think the overall, on like a Stam Sork, personally, the overall, like, here's the thing on a Magicka Sork, okay, I can punch someone a bit harder, actually, at the start. Okay. I can do more damage to push them into the window of Endless Fury. <clears throat> okay. Stam Sork. Yeah, I have more damage, I push them low, I do have executes, but like... Implosion was a was a stam sork tool. I guess my question would be is what are you making up for with it? Because implosion was a stam sork tool. That is why they made use of things like dual wield heavy attack combos into rending bash because you could implode targets with high instances of damage. What are you replacing that with? How are you making up for that? That I do more damage when they're higher health, okay. And then, 
you know. It also sucks that Werewolf uh, <clears throat> loses implosion there. So. Wardens have no execute either. Okay, but, but we do have an execute, but only for Magicka Sork, not for Stan. Okay, a Magicka Sork, this, I, I would like this for. They're already a bursty class. You're telling me a Magicka Sork can put up a curse and punch in a higher burst window when they're higher health and get them lower faster to pop Endless Fury? Okay, makes sense. And then for Stam Sork? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. You're going to get people to, uh... We got Vig coming in. Rip it. Two months. Welcome back. Thank you. Just spin more equal execute. Yes, I know. We're just going to have to do the same thing. It just... Whatever. I, I, You know what? I don't even know why I give a shit. Okay, let's move forward then. I, I feel like I'm not making... I don't know if people are, are getting it here. Static switch overdrive. Thank you for three months. Welcome back. Bring in the biceps. It's not the worst thing ever, this change. It just doesn't... I, I, I feel like... Uh, you know, Stam Sork already doesn't have much. Right? It's got like three morphs for stamina. All right? And you use like three skills uh like dark deal and streak which are just magicka or or crit surge. All right? These are like magicka skills we use. All right? So it's it's already very limited. One of the only saving graces it had was implosion, which is now amplitude, which is still a, a thing it can use, but it doesn't really play into it the same way implosion did. Implosion was a stam sort thing. Okay? This is what they had. That is what they did. Right there. They, they could implode people. But okay. I guess, we'll, I guess we'll just have to spin more. We're just going to have to keep on spinning and keep on winning, baby. Overload. Your weapon will no longer be visible while you're casting a light or heavy. Fix an issue where the abilities heavies would benefit from not or would not benefit from ultimate cost reduction. And then heavy overload more. Fix an issue where the magic return from this would fail to fire if the ability was reflected. What? No. Unfix it. What? Fix an issue where the magic return from this morph would fail to fire? It should fail to fire. It got reflected. It's like, it's, it, this is this everyone gets a, a fucking prize mentality. It's like, hey, hey, buddy, you made a fucking dumb play. Here's your magic back. Keep it up, sport. You'll get him next time. Like, what the fuck is this shit? It got reflected, dude. Don't shoot wings. Lesson learned. Don't be an idiot. Lesson learned. Like, it's called counterplay. Why does it get, why does it get taken out? It doesn't make sense. Son of a bitch. Don't shoot wings. There's so few things that can reflect. Don't shoot those things. Hot fire burns. Don't touch hot fire. All right, this is how we learn. Are we just dumbing this shit down, dude? Come on. Why would you get Magicka back if it's reflected? Come on, dude. Don't do that. <sighs> Fuck. It doesn't really matter. The instances where this is going to matter doesn't matter. The fact that someone would put in effort and be like, Hey, can someone fix uh, fix the overload today? Oh, what's wrong with it? Oh, it's not giving Magicka back when people uh, kill themselves shooting wings. Right. So, what do you what did you want fixed with it? It's yeah, giving the Magicka back. All right, they're already having a tough time. All right, their IQ is so fucking low. They're just gonna keep shooting those wings. Just give them the Magicka, dude. Let them perma block for at least a little bit with some shield stacking. Average Joe Gamer, thank you for two months. Static Switch Overdrive, thank you for three months. Welcome back. It just doesn't make sense. First, first we couldn't reflect meteors anymore. First, the, they're just cutting these DK's wings down. All right? The DK's have wings for a reason. Let them flap them. God damn it. You're going to start healing people if they accidentally hit people with wings. 
and have a little pop-up be like, oops, oops, don't shoot that guy. He's reflecting you. Here's 2K HP. Do better. Don't don't hit them. Hey, he's going to hurt you with that, you know? Come on, man. Stop babying people. At least you can die with full magic now. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I, I hate when counterplay gets stripped. I don't like it. So I'm sorry. I get really upset by stripping of counterplay. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep it positive. Templar. Dawn's Wrath. Blazing Shield. Fix an issue where this ability had erroneous field that limited the damage to 10% of the caster's health. Okay. Solar Barrage. Increase the damage dealt by this morph by approximately 10%. Wow. This is the, uh... This is the delayed channel fire, right? That thing already hit hard. Doesn't it still do, uh... It's, and it still debuffs, too, right? 10% additional damage at full health is a buff, though, no? It, it, it can be. In, in situations, absolutely. It's gonna do stuff. It's, it's a matter of closing your target down from start to finish. Implosion had a place for Stamsur. That's my point. Um, this is the morph that casts instantly on the target of the caster. Oh, oh, okay. It's a PvE change. Doesn't change much for PvP. Hey, 10%'s a lot. This ability now grants an infinite and power bonus during the entire duration? What the fuck? Internally, we found that melee magicka-based Templars specifically were struggling to contend with other melee. Yeah, change is aimed at remedying that. How long does this skill last? Blazing Shield builds are back. They're going to be drunken. What's up, Pale Lark? DK doesn't need any nerfs, especially wings. They're not cheap. I know. Tell me about it. All right. Eight seconds? Six, eight seconds? Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Solar Barrage. Wait. That's the unmorphed version of Power of the Light, isn't it? This isn't the cast I'm thinking of, is it? Which which skill is this? I, I get the Templar name ones mixed up. What skill are we talking about here? Because aren't they... Are, they're talking about stamina. Wait. They're not talking about stamina. It, it, I am thinking the right one, then. It is Dark Flare. Okay. What the fuck's melee magicka based Templars? What are we talking about here? Are they are they jabbing their hearts out on these things? Is that what's happening? Keep them in the back healing, dude. These guys don't use Destro staves. I'm melee magicka track. But how dare you? Magicka jabs probably. Is that what they do in PvE? They're jabbing these days. I, th I thought Magicka Templars just rotated double Destro. They're DPS. Crap, there's no change to wings. It's just dumb mechanics and how they affect wings. The fact that you can't counter an overload. I'm just saying, like, it's just like every, every couple patches you see any reflect mechanic getting nerfed. Because apparently people are, are, are fragile. I, I, I don't know why. I, it doesn't make sense to me. The only thing I can think of is is people don't like dying to reflect. I don't know. Not the sun. Thank you for four months. Welcome back. I play melee Magplar. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever. Uh, okay. You can counter overload. It still gets reflected. Yeah, for now. Here we go. Move to the next one. Restoring light. Cleansing ritual. Fix an issue where the heal from this ability and its morphs were not prioritizing the most injured targets inside the area. Okay. Good stuff. Move to the next one. 
Smart healing, getting even smarter, baby. Where were the changes to the wings? There were no change to wings. Okay? We've moved on from it. Reflect was not changed. We're moving on from it. Chat is confused. We're moving on. Here we go. Warden time. The Templar shield change is huge. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what that can be pushed up to with Karen equipment. Yeah, that's all I was talking about. The overload change. It just doesn't make sense. It just seems like a waste of time. I'm looking at things and saying, why did somebody spend time doing something dumb? Okay. So that, 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 that's all. People want to say, oh, there's still counterplay. You could still reflect it. Yes, I know. I get it. Okay. We're moving on now. Why would that be a thing? I don't know. That was my question. My brain hurts. Mine does too. Here we go. It's time for Warden. I'm sure the Warden nerfs are finally here. Animal Companions. Swarm. Fix an issue where the visual effects from this ability and its effects would persist on targets who entered invisibility or stealth. Fix an issue where this ability could target enemies and sneak or invisibility when attempting to spread to a new target. Biss. Stick around. Stick around. Biss Lobo, thank you for the host. Welcome in. Another EU champion coming in with a monster host. We're just, I'm doing the patch notes, dude. I'm a day late. Make sure we get a shout out for Biss. Make sure you guys check him out. I think we're a good, yeah, we're a good chunk of the way through here, I think. We're just moving on to, we're finishing the last class, Warden. Wild Guardian fixed an issue where the crushing swipe ability would only hit up to six targets. Soothing Spores fixed an issue where this ability used spell crit instead of weapon crit. All right, no Warden nerfs. Nothing. I'm literally deleting my stamps, Herc Fangrush. All right, take it easy. That, uh, all right, looks like, looks like Warden's gonna stay. I don't think the Warden nerfs come until the Necro's in. Necro gets added. Warden gets nerfed and goes on sale, 50% off now. Limited to time. Boom. I'm calling it. <clears throat> weapon. Two-handed, heavy weapons. Reduce the bleed applied from axe. Wait, reduce the bleed applied from the axe by 12. Increase the damage bonus from the sword. Son of a bitch. Are they saying reduce the bleed applied from axe? The actual damage of the bleed or the chance proc? Not very clear. They nerf bleeds? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Rip axes? Well, more so on two handed. Bleed nerf triggers me. Nerfing bleeds by 12%, but ignoring Master Dual Wheel bleeds. The bleed damage. Okay, the bleed damage is brought down. It's not terrible. 12% isn't terrible. It's a nerf, though. Then they put in a set where you can boost it back up. We have Ilag coming in. X Lucid, thank you for the prime. Welcome in. The bleed applied, not the rate of applying. Here's the thing with bleeds, okay? It's a lot easier to apply dual wield bleeds because you're doing more instances of damage, more chances to apply. You come in with a heavy attack, two hits, two chances to apply bleed. Do a rending, two hits, two chances to bleed. Bash him, five hits, five chances to bleed. Maybe you have blade cloak on, throw on a sixth. All right, two-handed. One chance. You want to do a wrecking blow? Hold on. Winding it up. Two chances to bleed. Okay, so there's a big difference between dual wield and two-handed bleeds. 
in their ability to proc them. That's why you have people running dual wield like crazy and bleeds always on your death recap and battlegrounds with it. So I think I think that would be a better thing to look at. But what do I know? I just use dual wield on tons of builds and pack people up all day with it. I wonder how much you could push the two-handed ult with that implode change. Ooh. I like it, Strovix. Carve bleed? What about carve bleed? Carve does a bleed. Are you, or, or do you think the carve bleed has a chance to bleed? Because that's another story. Fair. I sh uh... I should have played. What are your thoughts on? I haven't got to rapid changes. We're uh, we're still in this. Oh my bad. It's all good. The axe nerf is on both two two handed and dual wield. Yeah, I'm asking why. I guess. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll make it more clear what I'm saying. I, I was trying to show you through uh, what my point was. Is we've we've nerfed bleed right? Okay. Here I am. All right, I'm I'm just here bouncing, and people are they're gonna come to me and say, bleeds. The bleeds are too they're too much. Bank fingers, nerf the bleeds. All right. Doing it right now. Nerfing across the board. Instead, you could be like, hey fingers, I die to bleeds a lot. They're pretty brutal. By the way, 90% of the time it's from dual wield. Do you, do you know why? I don't understand why. It seems like when I fight people with dual wield, I'm always bleeding. But when I fight people with two-handers, I don't bleed as much. Uh, hang on. Blanket nerf incoming. Stand by. N no, I, I, it might be dual wield that's bleeding a lot more. There's these master dual wield weapons everyone's using. Hang on. Blanket nerf incoming. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I, so, I don't know. There was an issue with dual wield bleeds. Master dual wield axes, okay? Blanket nurse need to stop. Identify the issue. What's the developer comments? Where, where, here we go. Dual wield. Axe versions are both this and heavy are previously over budgeted, provided far too much damage. Additionally, bleeds applied from these weapons are performing well against all armor types. Rather than focusing on being better against people with higher physical resist, we're still closely monitoring bleeds from the past and investigating the ways to better distinguish the play of axes that maces provide. Sword version of both these were under budgeted as well. So, swords got bumped up by 1%. Okay. Um, mace, mace doesn't work. Uh, it's, it's not that it's ever bad, exactly. Because there's times where mace is the best. Um, it's just that it doesn't work properly with, with, with passives. Um, in, in, in the way it... You know, if you put pen into your build, it factors in the pen, then it throws the mace at it. That deserves to be reworked, I think. But so people know what the hell they're getting out of it. They don't even know what they're getting. It's part of it. But two ended only causes bleed on single target direct melee damage. Yeah, I know. Dual wield is doubled. So whatever. That's why everyone using dual wield will break out an axe. And they will bleed you. And you will bleed. It will add up. You will see it. When you fight people with two-handed, do you see it a lot? No. Does it happen? Yes. Uh, but that's the way two-handed works. It doesn't have anything that puts out the amount of instances of damage that dual wield does. That's the difference between it. Dual wield maces were great when armor pen was bugged and gave 100% pen. Those were the glory days, boys. <laughs> I still have those dual wield alchemist maces. Boy, oh boy. Those were the days. Took them months to fix that one, too. All right. Bo, Scattershot. Fixed an issue with the stun applied from this ability. Its Morse was not able to be broken after the knockback had completed, which made it feel less responsive to CC break. Yes. Okay. Volley. Fixed an issue with the abilities from Volley. And this is big, because believe me. Believe me, we've been riding the lightning. We've been seeing people breaking their keyboards. Volley fixed an issue with this, and it's more so unintentionally blockable. 
This ability was ground-based and area effect damage over time is intended to follow the same rule set of others which cannot be blocked or dodged. Hashtag facts. That's, that's too nerdy. That's, that's got to be Gilliam. Is Gilliam typing patch notes now? Hey, Fang, two-handed maul will increase armor pen based on increased armor, FYI. What do you mean, based on increased armor? So raining arrows is a ground thing? It is. Yeah. Yeah. You shoot it up and it comes down and it impacts an area. Um, it shouldn't be blockable. All AoE like that should not be blockable, yes. The, the ground-based ones that you dump like that. Like, what, same thing as Wall of Elements. Completely out of topic question. Do you think there will be any chance to bring back PvE gear? Not Helms. Not being BOP. It was nice when that was a thing. What? Just tired of the grind. Finish watching your review elsewhere. Piece about PvP and PvE support. So, sorry. Which ones do you mean, old soul? Do you think there will be any chance to then bring back PvE gear? Not being by on pickup. Oh, do you mean like trial gear and stuff? Or yeah, I, I don't think anything is going to change there. You shouldn't be able to block falling things. Oh, I see your point there. If you think about it like that, then absolutely. You should be able to yell shields up. But it's because it's a ground-based AoE. That's just how it works. Has Lovermon is applied before Mace or Maul? All that stuff should be applied before it. So the Viking shield wall against arrows raining from the sky was a lie. Can't block that shit. That is correct. It's all fiction. Are stamps works for PvE still viable? Yeah, I'm sure they are. All right. Let's keep moving it. Destruction staff. Ancient knowledge. Remove the requirement to have a destructive staff ability to gain the passive. You now simply need to equip it. Thank God. This was far too restrictive. Yeah. A lot of people that wanted to use this were like, I've, I've wanted to use some tanky support builds or healers, and I don't want to put a, a skill on my bar. Like on the Shep, I had I had to put a root on, which was nice, but... Okay. Shock Clinch. Fix an issue where the area of effect detonation of this ability, Shock Clinch Explosion. Was not able to critically strike this ability now properly scale with your spell crit rating and inherent your, your critical hit damage modifiers. Who's using Shock Clinch? Are you playing on a 144p or 1080p monitor with the GTX 1080? It's, it's a 144. <clears throat> Alright, world. World changes. Soul Magic. Soul Trap. Fix an issue where the initial hit from this ability is could remove targets from sneak or invisibility if they were near the impact of the initial target. Okay, Vampire, fix an issue where the visual effects and the move speed buffs are displaying around invisible legs while entering mist form. It can no longer look like a running dust cloud. Okay, where will fix an issue where the bleed applied from the lights or its morse could still trigger enchantments? Fix an issue where your character would turn invisible. Okay, I know these. Okay, good. Undaunted, inner fire. As soon as you granted the ability morse, now 12 meters to activate instead of 18. Rejoice, you no longer need to sprint back and forth like an Olympian to activate these bonuses. Um... Can they do this for the other one? Uh, trapping webs? Can we get trapping webs activated between a mid to melee range? So stamina characters can use it, and I don't need a sniper. To be like, trapping webs out, and the sniper runs in to activate it. Because trapping webs can't even be used. Okay. I'd like to use the trapping webs. Trapping webs. Uh, don't you lull at my trapping. I want to use it. It has no place in the world right now. You have this great skill in an unbelievable skill line. I can make, you can make cool skills for the Undaunted skill line all day. There's no reason it should only have five. Start adding them in. Start adding them in. Increase the Undaunted level. Keep adding them in. Put in these cool team play skills, man. Put them in. You know, rather than, rather than putting it on a set, be like, I got a cool idea for something. All right, let's put it on a set. And if you are walking forward, the set is active. You know, put it on a skill, right? 
instead of the proc sets. <clears throat> Give an undaunted ult. Exactly. It needs an ult, too. Of course. I've been thinking about it, too, for years. The small radius, long activation time is just impossible to utilize in PvP. Yeah, it sucks. It's the only physical synergy, and it doesn't work. It's, it's correct. It, it doesn't. Uh, all right, moving on. Psychic order and weapon. The resource return from failing to consume this ability will not only return a portion of the resources rather than all of them. This is done to fix an issue where you could get more resources back than it originally casted it with when using in tandem with sources of cost reduction. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is what Ride the Lightning does. Okay. See, they get to fix stuff watching the stream. All right. Nerf Fangrush, yeah, pretty much. So what's he doing on that build? How we nerfed that? I'll tell you what they're not nerfed. <laughs> All right, hang on, we'll get to it. Deliberation. Fix an issue where the major protection granted from this passive was unintendedly stronger than the sources, other sources. Wow, okay. Alliance War, Salt, Vigor. Fix an issue where this ability and some more were unintentionally proccing abilities with range attack, prereqs. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, rapid maneuvers. <clears throat> this ability and sports will no longer provide immunity to snares or mobilizes. This ability and its morse will no longer provide immunity to snares and immobilizes. Uh, retreating maneuvers. Maneuvers. This morph will no longer remove current snares or mobilizes, and will instead grant affected allies a bonus that reduces their damage taken from behind. Now, retreating maneuvers, isn't that the yellow morph? So, wait. <laughs> Are we saying... Like, does it do anything for snares and immobilizes then? Or just nothing ever? Nothing ever, right? The red one? Treating's the red one. Okay, yeah, the other one's called charging maneuvers. That's right. And that one gives minor expedition after you engage combat. And that one did not remove snares. So none of them remove snares or immobilize. Or give you immunity, right? <laughs> they changed only one no i think they changed both right i'm just double checking they changed both right but nothing removes snares now Ret retreating currently supposedly removes snares but it never works oh i see yeah it works well for pv fingers for us in trials you fuck you jada <laughs> Okay, this is actually like good to a point. Okay, hang on. So, spoiler alert, I already looked for snares, mobilizes. There's, there's really nothing else in the patch notes on it, right? Retreating removed everything and gave immunity fingers. Right, right, right. Yeah, I was just double checking. I was making it clear uh, look at the chat <laughs> all right so so this means like so yeah this this is a direct hit to ball groups and this is what was left off last patch let's read the spoiler after the change to the major exhibition update 20 we wanted to make sure all abilities that provided the buff were given the same pass yet rapids was left untouched why why was it left untouched? Oh, because we wanted to spend more time fleshing out a new identity for this ability, while still retaining the unique group play it enables. Since the removal of snares and mobilize is such a powerful tool, we removed that function from the skill since it was allowing large groups to ignore incorporating those types of abilities in their individual builds. I agree with that. We repurposed retreating maneuvers for something that was strictly defensive. As the name implied... So you'll now take less damage when being attacked from the backside as you reposition or retreat. <laughs> yeah. 
Now you can put retreating rem maneuvers up and get chain rooted while you're facing a wall, right? You can, you can just cover it up so you don't have to watch the pain. <laughs> so here's the thing. They, 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 didn't, they didn't rework move speed, right? Move speed, anything there. Okay, immobilize. Okay, it's on a set, perfect. <laughs> That's all we added. The only thing in here is Mighty Glacier. For when you're casting a snare or mobilize, boy, there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to do that. Like, I'll tell you this. Hang on, first we got Literal coming in eight months. Welcome back, another day, another $5. Thank you, brother. Welcome back. Son of a bitch. All I wanted this patch. Does, that, does everyone remember? All I wanted this patch was a rework and a fix to move speed. So they've spent more time fleshing out a new identity for this ability, retreating maneuvers. Okay. Its new identity is unused. All right, that's welcome. Welcome to the long list of things that gets thrown in the dumpster. So snares are even more powerful, yes. Snares and roots, unchecked. Here's the thing. If it's left like this, there's a big problem. I have to imagine we just haven't got there yet. All right? And and like I said, like move speed becomes like useless. And to my orc, my orc's passive move speed, great. It doesn't matter if I can't move. This is what I was telling Fear Turbo. He said, don't worry, wait till you see the patch notes. All right? And meanwhile, Fear Turbo, meanwhile, none of us are going to be moving out there, dude. We're all going to be sitting there, mobilized, chain-rooted all day, out of our minds, no options. All right? My Magicka Sorks, good luck to my Magicka Sorks. How are they going to move? Meanwhile, Fear Turbo's just sitting there on the couch in his underwear eating Doritos, watching Dragon Ball Z on repeat. We're all out here getting fucked on move speed. Can't even move out there. Like, you gotta rework move speed, dude. You gotta rework it. I don't know what's going on. I Class reps, just get together. Just, just go and protest. Say, hey, move, move speed's bad. It's terrible. You kidding me? No more advice from me. I quit. All right? Move speed's bad. It's so bad. It's so bad, it's going to impact the game. I don't know what the vision is. We talk about vision. This is a big issue. And right now, the vision for PvP is going to be real fucking bad if you don't rework move speed. It's your most glaring, important issue. All this other shit, all these other balance changes don't mean a hill of beans, dude. It just it doesn't even fucking compare. You got to fix move speed. You got to fix it. Karatha wants take flight fix. Oh, it's never getting fixed. Never getting fixed. <laughs> this is crazy. Man. Because right now, all right, here, here's the patch note so far. We have a brand new set there. Every time you, every two seconds you heal, you purge. All right? All this is going to do is force everybody to be purging. Even without that set, take Curse Eater out. All right, because you're going to have to take it out now. There's a couple glaring things already in this patch note, all right? There's a couple glaring things, which makes me wonder, like, what's going on? Like, who do the patch notes go through? Is Rob the dude? Like, who's the last pass? Who looks at the Curse Eater set and says, oh, purge every two seconds? Green light it. Put it in. Nerfed Rapids? Not reworking move speed? Put it in. I want to see Ice Wardens holding block throughout PvP, doing their ults until we get the Necro in. Get it in there. Green light it. It doesn't make sense. Poor Zergers. So, so I did say I wanted Rapids to get the same treatment, which they've done. They've done. I said, if you're going to nerf all the other sources of move speed, let everyone feel the pain. Okay? And now they're letting everyone feel the pain. And boy, oh boy, are you going to fucking feel it, dude. 
you will feel it. Any kind of root build, my disruptor build will be the strongest it's ever been in any any meta. It'll be the strongest it's ever been. Roots negates will win fights. That is it. Because move speed is so bad. MG Tau Gamer. Contact! 37 months and count until like it is. Thank you, brother. Welcome back. Bringing the biceps. Thank you for the host, too, man. Welcome in here. All right. So negate, negate root Omega Lol. Yes. Get ready for it. You play Disruptor for your ball group. All right, guys. The Disruptor build will be updated. Hang in there. The only build you'll need to succeed. Coming your way soon. All right. I might rename it too. Might be a little. I could think of a couple names for it right now. Oh baby! Hello, cutie pie. Big Tao, thank you for gifting One in five the... brand new recruits. Sticky Champ, welcome in. Techno Wabbit. Heavy LG. Puda Panda. And Hey Felt, welcome in. Big Tao, thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. First gifts of the day. I think I want to fight my unkillable perma slow perma CC perma root tank. Sounds like a warden, dude. It's just insane. They're gonna gear up all these wardens to crush. I'm not down with it. I don't approve it, and I don't understand what's going on. Where is, where is the rework, dude? We gotta rework move speed. SOS. Red alert. For. Statler, 97, thank you for two months. Welcome back in. MGTOW, gifted in KSART. Danny is Lee. Tobias, Jeans, and MLP for gaming. Welcome in. Thank you, MGTOW. Red alert, that's right. Fear Turbo. Fear Turbo, you are here. You're full of shit, dude. You told me, wait for the patch notes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Your orc move speed, it's going to be relevant. Don't worry. It's irrelevant. All right. The orc has now just been nerfed out of its mind with move speed being irrelevant. I want move speed to be relevant. Everyone's going to mass purge now. Okay? Just... Mm, mm, are we learning anything? Are we getting anywhere? Fuck, dude. Not Fear Turbo's fault. I'm just busting his balls, guys. Just FYI. I'm giving him the hard. Not his fault. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is, uh, all right. It's the first pass, too, all right? Here's what I'm going to encourage, though. In a civil manner, in a very civil manner, all right? Here's what you're going to do. Uh... We're going to go to the Elder Scrolls Online website. We're going to go to public test server. We're going to come into this place. We're going to find the first thread complaining about move speed. Don't nerf curse. Ban this guy. This guy should be banned. Let's, let's, let's see his reasoning. With all these threads eater is... All these threads curse eater is OP. I, I want one to say it would be great set for healers in PvP and PvE. So if changes must be made... Please consider application set of has only Shut up, you're an idiot. Get him out of here. Former class rep, get ban him. Just th throw him out. That guy shouldn't have an opinion. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Here we go. Rapid maneuvers. Ten pages already. Okay. Now it's getting nerfed. That's fine. That's not what we care about. We care about move speed. Alright. Where there's, there's got to be a thread in here on this. There isn't? Or am I just missing it? Move speed? Snares? Slows? Immobilize? All right, maybe you don't go to this forum. M maybe no one cares to post here. Is there anything in here about this? How are people not up going insane about it? You haven't found one yet? All right. Well, here's your thread to create. Move speed fucking sucks. Move speed needs to be reworked. It was the worst thing of Merkmire. The worst thing of Merkmire was move speed. This patch, it's gotten 
its its group option ripped away, which is fine. I don't give a shit about that. It will help break ball groups up. There is a silver lining to that that is good. It's a tool that ball groups did use where they're immune, and we should take that away. You should not be immune to bad choices. And in this case, it's positioning. If you position in a bad place, you can hit rapids and just fucking roll out. However, there needs to be a way to deal with move speeds, slows, roots. It's, it's all out of whack, dude. It's out of whack. And it's insane. And if you don't agree, it's because you're not PvPing. If you're out there PvPing, you're going to feel this shit. Or you died too fast to something else. Who knows? You can't fucking move. You go to Battlegrounds, Ice Warden. Ice Warden. Every fucking Battlegrounds, Ice Warden. No changes to Warden. No changes to Ice Storm. More AoE slows added on a fucking set if you hold your right mouse button down. You can just tape the motherfucker down. Go AFK inside of a keep, and you're good. All right? Come back when the fight starts up and hit R on your keyboard. Okay, like, it's insane. Move speed needs to be addressed. It needs to be addressed. It really does. Can we talk about 30-minute battleground cues? All right, the M yeah, the there's nothing in here about that either. And, and that actually is an issue. I, you know, the matchmaking's terrible. It's terrible. If you do well in battlegrounds, you get nothing but these long cues, and you go against pre-mades with fucking Ice Wardens, and it sucks. I stopped doing Battlegrounds this patch because the move speed sucks. The the matches you actually get suck. Did they do... Is there anything about the matchmaking? Matchmaking? Okay. Quest zones. Nothing. General. UI. Is there anything? Anything about the matchmaking? You made it. You made a thread. Good. Let's get in there and flood it, dude. I'm telling you, this needs to be done. I'm not even joking. If if I was a class rep, Fear Turbo, if I was your outcast, I, I'd be out at this point. No joke. If 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 unless there is like I would go into the meeting and say, is there something that's going to happen about this? Otherwise, I'm out. Surely, surely someone spoke up about it. And if not, then there needs to be more PvP representation on the class reps. Um, but I, I, I can't imagine they didn't say anything or wouldn't say anything. That's just not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Like this, the quality of gameplay is so low from the... I, I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough. I, I, I talked about it at Merkmeyer, and apparently it wasn't fucking heard. But I'm not the only one talking about this. Everyone fucking knows it. Everybody knows it. The move speed sucks. People don't even... Oh, don't even throw shuffle on as a way to remove it because it lasts two fucking seconds. What's the vision? What is the vision of, of combat? Is the vision of combat that none of us are moving? Barbecue, huh? Is this a turn-based game now? Like Pudgy Kruger, thank you for 100 bits. Like, what's the vision? I, I want slows to be in game. I want roots to be useful and impactful. I do want them in there. I don't want my entire PvP experience to be slowed with intermittent rooting. But that's all it is. That's all it will be. So I, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Matchmaking's not in here either. I stopped doing Battlegrounds this patch. I made an alt character, Small Sun Fangrush, to do Battlegrounds with because I can't get cues on my main. Playing on my alt character resulted in landslide victories and people telling me I was uh, being... Uh, a bad person. And, and then his cues started getting long too. Basically, if, if you win in Battlegrounds, the more you win in Battlegrounds, 
I, I don't know I don't know what it all it's basing it on. But if you have like if if you're decent at PvP and you do well in battlegrounds, they're gonna make you wait. And frankly, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of being punished for for uh good performance. That's what's happening. If your performance is shit, no problem. Find some other people for you. Like just just mix it up. Just if someone's doing really well, okay. Put them in with some other people that aren't great and make the other team not that great either with uh, one guy that's good too. Okay? Don't be like, oh, all right, hang on, 20 minutes. Please wait. Here's three guys that have 100 CP. You're going against a four-man. Uh, you're dead. You lost. Enjoy it, though. Have a good time. Because that's that's what MMR is doing right now. At I would like it reset too. I, I'm, I'm just – the matchmaking system's not fun right now. You do hit a wall. Yes, I understand I'm in the, the upper part of, of that curve, and and there's outliers. The outliers are not dealt with well, is what I'm trying to say. You need to roll in the outliers into the middle again somehow, and it's not doing it. It doesn't know how to deal with outliers. So, um, apparently there's an MMR cap, and one person on EU has hit it. Nobody else. What, what does that mean? Where does a did a developer say that or or what? I think they should nerf move speed the same reason Cleave sucks. D different stories. The reason Cleave sucks a lot is by the time you hit six plus targets to hit with Cleave, which is where it becomes really good to use, the server's lagging badly. It really is. There's very rarely instances where there's a lot of people together and it's not lagging. Check the four move speed buff thread. Get it in there. There it is. Still snares still way overboard. Get them out of here. We need a rework on it. MMR cap, I fight the same twenty people. Yeah. What does that mean? What does the MMR cap mean, Thogard? There's not enough players at high level BGs. Players stop playing when they get close to that ranking and run in packs so they don't get singled out yeah yeah you're, you're not you're not wrong and and the problem with it target the tank is it that problem still existed before the problem i'm seeing right now is that wardens and their slows and their and their function and group play is and there, there's a couple things that that's a big one the other difference is a team with a healer versus teams without healers um, at high level play, these things become, you either have it or you don't. And, and if you don't have those things, you automatically lose the match and it's not a fun match. You can't really play with your team because your team will just die every time. You just can't do anything. Even if you're a great player, if you're going against a warden healer and there's two stab DPS coming in and some other guy that's doing, it doesn't even fucking matter. Like you just die and, and then you, you don't have a team really. You have some people that don't have a healer. You can't win. Makes BG solo queue only. I wouldn't be against it. Like, if there's some way to fix it, there's got to be a better way to do it. I, I would be all... If, if we could help make it better, I'd be all for it. Because the thing is, when you're really high MMR like me, if I go Q for Battlegrounds, they will match me up against two pretty good players. One is a pure healer, one's a damage dealer, and then I can't do shit against that if those guys are playing together. I can't do anything against it. And they know if they kill me, they'll kill the rest. You know? Two Qs, pre-made Q. That's I'm 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 leaning towards that too. I, I think you should be able to do group Qs and then solo Qs. And uh what's it's it's I, I don't think anything's getting changed with it. I'm just I'm, I'm probably just going to do more potato grounds where I make these all. I don't know. Like, it's such 
it could be such a landslide of a victory. It gets to a point where I'm 10 minutes in and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm 48. No, how much longer this shit? You know, where the people aren't reacting anymore. Like, they're not trying. And there's people that are just in there that are just like, I don't know. They, there, there used to be a better battlegrounds experience, and 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 here's here's what I'm trying to get at. I used to be able to go in there on a stem and not get snared out of my mind, and and automatically lose. Like the big switch came is when all groups started traveling together with ice wardens. Too fucking strong. Why is there nothing in here about it? Why is there nothing about the warden ult? Why is there nothing about move speed? Why was there only encouragements to do both of those things even more? Why was there sets added to help exacerbate the issue? What the fuck's going on? Is there anybody in... I don't know. I don't know. Are they not hearing that message? Maybe? I don't know. It's made Battlegrounds so unfun, I haven't done it in over a month on my stream, and I PvP every day on my stream. Take it in for a second. Take that in. Here's where we're at. And then we come back to the Rapids change. So, it's good they nerfed Rapids, but move speed needs to be fixed. Okay. Duchess, have a good one. Um, support Purge fixed an issue where this ability and s'mores did not properly benefit from the Magic 8 passive. Thank God. Believe me, we're going to need a whole lot of Purges this patch. All the more reason to be a Templar again. Don't forget the major protection on Perma. No shit. It's, 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 this is what I'm talking about. Perma is too effective. It does everything. It does it all. And more. I quit BGs on my main because too many Ice Wardens were in the game. A lot of people did. A lot of people have stopped playing them as much at higher level because it's all it is. And you, here's the thing. You can't solo queue and just go in and fight. You could do it more before. And there's a big difference there. It was more fun to just solo queue, maybe even get against a pre but you can still fight people. But what you start getting now, and it changed. It 100% changed. And if you're playing BGs, you know this. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Gil, I know you're out there, dog. You're in the same MMR bracket as me, dude. You know about these Ice Wardens, man. I don't want to move slow. Do you? Like, what's going on, dude? What are these... What are people supposed to do out there, dude? Is, is Magicka supposed to use two-handers again? Is everyone, are, are all Magicka going to have to go vamp? Like, come on, man. Fairies, I disagree. Duo cues are still good. Yeah, if I pick up mubs and I queue up on my werewolf, yeah, I, I get a bunch of two, three-man type groups or a lot of solo queues, all great players, Karatha, and I fucking shred them every time. I never lose on that werewolf because I bring in mubs with me. But hey, I have fun doing it. Magic of Sork is still the counter to Ice Warden. Steal their kills. No class execute. <sighs> is that what, but, but is that what we're going to do? Like, here's the thing, Thogard. I'm not like, get, let's get on our Magic of Sorks because these guys got Ice Wardens and we'll queue up. We'll happenstance get against that team. They're going to bring out the Ice Warden strat. Aha. But we will counter them and steal their kills and effectively win the game. No, man. I just want to pop in and be like, I'm playing a Stam Warden today. Or today I'm playing my Stam Sork. Or today I'm playing my what, whatever. I just want to pop in and play the fucking game and go into Battlegrounds, dude. I don't want to be like, I'm countering the Ice Wardens. No, I don't. I really don't. They need to remove the snare from Time Stop. Thank you for reminding me. Fuck that skill, man. Got a bunch of idiots out there spamming Time Stop. Doing nothing else. Get the slow off time stop. God bless him. That skill needs to stop being spammed in Cyrodo. It's not making it a better environment. It's stupid. 
I see breaches with six time stops flying through it. Just, just, there's just so many going on. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Ling, thank you for four months. Where's the alert? Where's the alert? I can't, I can't even hear it. Hang on, is my alerts? I, I gotta make sure they're working. Every little bit we had. There it is, baby. All right. I wanted to make sure they weren't broken. Ling, thank you again. Four months. Time stop's a terrible idea, honestly. Needs to have the slow off of it. It's dumb. It's so extreme, too. It's such a strong slow. These are just bad, bad things, man. The time stop bubble's so pretty. It's very pretty, but it is not good for, like, the flow of PvP. The flow of PvP is so stop and go, all right? It's like rush hour traffic in the middle of, of a city, okay? It sucks. Everyone's getting stressed off. People are yelling at each other. No one's having fun. Shit's breaking down, all right? And people are freaking out. They're getting road rage. What do you think about strength of the guards and no CP? Adequate? Well, that's another issue. I mean, uh, I see the same problem with guards and no CP as I see... I, I'm very interested in what they're doing with removing IC from Cyrodiil, right? This tangents into something else I wanted to talk about. But uh, I, I don't... They're a little too tough, Croth, the guards and non-CP. I want them to rework CP or figure out what they're doing with it. Because it's like, again, everything in CP, it's like too easy. You go to no CP and it's too tough. Mobs and guards. Like Imperial City, will there be a non-CP and a CP? You know, the idea of Imperial City is there's as few instances of it as possible. Ideally, one. Ideally. Current traffic can, uh, can fit everybody in one, but... Uh, make it a speed boost instead of a speed debuff. Whew. That's the same problem with time stop and permafrost. The counter is to move out of them, yet the counter to moving out is a snare, which is also in the skill. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. And what this is doing is just absolutely bogging people down with bullshit. It's, it's, I don't know how, I'm, I'm, I'm just using the word bullshit, but it's, it really is, it's, it's not enjoyable gameplay to have all this shit spammed on you until you're dead. Okay. The IC bosses and non-CP is so brutal. Exactly. That's part of what I'm talking about. Um, the guards in general and non-CP aren't bad if you're used to it. Like, I'm used to them. The only place they hurt is when you're charging through and you're at the last keep. And there's a lot of guards there. There's, like, a double amount. That can hurt. Um, other than that, I mean, you just take them out. I mean, I, I hate the negates from them. Um, they seem so unreliable. There's times you see entire raids coming through a keep and no negates come out from the guards. Maybe one on the back flag. Maybe. And then if you're solo, you're the last guy left. There's 15 people chasing around the keep. And you go to a, a corner tower. It's like negate, 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 negate. It's just over and over everywhere you step. Cast hurricane, negate. Use rending slashes, negate. It's like, dude, I'm not even a group. You know, I, I, I wish the guards had more AI. I wish the guards would say 10 plus players dropping a negate. 20 plus players dropping negates and all sorts of other shit. Just bombarding them. Bombarding them. They should scale on what's in front of them, but whatever. It's never going to happen. I don't care. IC campaign would be the zone. We're always looking for to add artifacts and or amp. You could do a lot of cool stuff with it. But I, I, I won't tangent in IC right now. But, but it's interesting to... Uh, CP versus non-CP and what they're going to do with it. We'll see. There's a bug where if you kill a guard who casts a negate, that negate becomes invisible but still remains. There's a lot of bugs. You can't use synergies inside a negate, even if it doesn't wipe them out. Um, like, even if they're near them, and you can go in and hit synergy, and then all your synergy gets locked. There's a lot of little problematic things. Synergies weren't fixed in here, I don't think, either. Synergies only scale off Magicka Pen. How many times do I have to report and request a fix that they work like ultimates? And they're like, nope. 
Sorry. We have to nerf move speed a little more. Where's my invisible negate, Fangrush? I don't know. We're going to see plenty of them this patch, dude. Dolmans do that, Fangrush. More people at the place, more mobs show up. Yes. Son of a bitch. Yeah. So we should all play snare wardens. It's. I, I, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. They got to fix the move speed on this shit. Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to turn the orc army into a slowing machine. No, I don't I don't want to do that shit. I, I want them to fix stuff. Like what kills me is is it it's really degrading the enjoyment of PVP. No one goes to PVP and says, "I'm fucking loving this this slow moving combat where I'm always rooted or or slowed. It really gives me a chance to slow down and appreciate the environment." Like what the fuck's going on, dude? People want to have their move speed. When you run and you quest and you level your character the entire time throughout the game and you're used to like, oh, cool, this is what moving feels like. And then you go to PvP and you're like, wow, I can never fucking move in PvP. You're not going to want to do it anymore, all right? People are going to dip out or they go and ride Zergs. Why do you think the fuck they want to ride a Zerg to begin with, man? God damn it, dude. And then my orc passive, dude, my move speed on my orc passive, what value does it hold? This is already shit. 500 max health and stamina. Ooh. Cool, I got weapon damage. It's not even much more. It's not even a big increase. And then, ooh, move speed while sprinting. Good luck sprinting in combat, guys. It's going to cost you 8,000 stamina to get out of the route, to clear the snare, which can be reapplied in fucking two seconds. Pick your poison and watch your stam go. Pray you don't get outnumbered because that's what everything becomes at that point. Timing and numbers. All right. And magic builds and non-CP. Woo! Son of a bitch. Hope you like going vampire. Who likes to be forced into vampire for gameplay? I swear there was a patch before that tried to address like those very words so Templars or something didn't have to feel forced into vampire and like <laughs> I don't know what else we're doing right now. Achilles got cold by now. Nope. I got a little I got a little heat plate here. God bless this stream setup. It's got everything. All right. I, I even have an oven over here. All right. Controlled by the streaming PC. And you name it. Fridge. No problem. Easy. Can we get a nerf to Earth Gore? Yeah. No touches on that probably, right? I didn't see anything on that. It's like the... Fear, are you still here? Where's... I'm, I swear I'm not going to pick on you, Fear. I, I have a legitimate question. Where is he? Let me see if he's in Discord. Here he is. He's on Discord. Fear! Where are you? Does your stream setup have snare removal? It doesn't. It doesn't. I can't do that. Honestly, like, Earth Gore doesn't hurt as much in non-CP because you can burst more there. I think in CP, it's, it's, it's much more of an issue. You can't do shit, Earth Gore, every... Yeah. In CP, where it's easier to amp your survival up... That's what I like about non-CP. If you really amp your health and survival up, it comes at a cost. You're not going to do as much damage. Thoughts on the new sustain set? I did the math, and if you're probably going to cool down, it's equivalent of 1550 regen. Yeah, it's going to be really strong, especially non-CP. Very strong there. 
How do you feel about Dunmer Magic of DKs now? Yeah, I mean, Magic of DKs lost the race they used to do damage. They really didn't make it up right. I imagine their damage is down. Uh, overall, like, where do they fall in PvE at this point? Does anyone play a Magic of DK in PvE anymore? Are these the Rast Stone Notes? They are. In CP, we kill through Earthcore High Burst. Okay, so you can do the same as us, probably. Like, we, we're able to do that in non-CP, too. It depends on it depends on the group. Like, a better group will know they need some survival so the Earth Gore can actually work, right? Um, I think Earth Gore in the hands of good players is, is very vicious. Now, if you're way outnumbered, like, if you're just in a duo, it's going to be hard to burst Earth Gore unless you have Stam Warden. Um, Son of a bitch. But... Like, once you have, like, a decent-sized group, you can kind of punch through it. I've seen it as more of an issue on CP, though. And I think that's overall the case. Um, Magic TK is useless in PvE, the content that matters. Fair enough. Village Idiot, thank you for the Prime. Welcome in. Bring in the Biceps. Do you think this is coming to an end with all the new game coming out, like Anthem Division or more coming? No. No, I don't. I think ESO is very unique in what it has and what it offers. Its combat system is actually very good. Um, it just needs appropriate balance. Okay. Um, does the new monster set affect myself or just allies? It can affect everyone. It's from what I understand, right? Um, mm, 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 mm. All right. This is the race stuff. We already did race stuff, by the way. So I'm not going to go over races again. Um, I already said my piece on races, and not much changes there. Orc does need to be moved up. There's a couple other races we called out. I think Orc suffers one of the worst, because move speed's fucking shitty with, uh, with the current meta. And they, outside of that, they just lost. They just lost, lost, lost stats. Just doesn't make sense. It's dumb, but... I mean... Not the biggest issue uh, out of things here. There's some really glaring issues here. Um, is there a class rep for each resource type of class, or is it just one for each class? I have no idea. I don't know how it works. Here's what I would say, because I don't expect Xenomax to reach out and have a direct. Uh, reply or whatever, but we'll see. Changes, you know, changes happen. This is the first round of PTS notes. They'll come. We'll get more. I wish I, I don't have all all the. Are there any other class reps here? Any class reps in chat? I'd love to talk to them about move speed. We are everything, not over one thing. Does, do any of the class reps agree? Gan, you're here too. Any class reps? I think Alkis, he's probably gone. Disagree that move speed is not completely fucked right now with all this shit. Or are people happy moving? Fingers from starting to play ESO will be a good race or two for Nightblade. Orc. How do people become class reps? They, they, they already picked it. 
It doesn't matter right now. Why is the issue move speed and not CC snares and others? That's that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about move speed overall. I'm talking about how quick players can move, including their minimum and maximum speed, because we don't want them moving too quick. That's what the whole swift... Like, move speed got fucked because people were moving too quick. And now it's just, it's just the snares are just fucked. Speed and snares are still an issue. I was also trying not to overdo bounces patch to collect a vision. I'm going to tell you right now, the vision in the next three months are going to be fucking dreadful if this shit doesn't get touched. All, <clears throat> So much of what I just spent my time reading pales in comparison as far as combat goes, in my opinion. It pales in comparison to it. So prioritize. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. I can't stress it enough. It fucking sucks if you can't move and you just die in PvP. It sucks, dude. You'll die with fucking 80% of your Magicka spamming Magicka skills because you were trying to CC break and roll dodge and you just all you do. Oh, roll dodge, roll dodge, roll dodge. I had to stand dead. Wow. What an experience. What an enjoyable experience. They need to do something. Not having a complete vision? Okay, put in a stopgap solution for now. Something. This, this ain't gonna cut it. This ain't it, Chief. Right here? No. No way. Not gonna work. Worst patch notes ever? No, I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of stuff in here that makes sense. There's one extremely glaring issue, and a couple other ones that make you scratch your head. Nothing to Warden. Nothing, no, nothing to anything that overperforms or is overspammed. Right? Earth scores, time stops. You know, they hit rapids because they forgot to do it months ago. But move speed? You can't... It's Move speed's not something you slowly fuck until you figure it out. You can't do that. Be like, all right, now it's really bad. Well, don't worry about it. By the time elsewhere comes out, we're going to have something. No. No, no, no. I was shocked there was nothing to snipe or warden. Yeah, I'm 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 more so for warden for me. Snipe's kind of dumb. There's a couple little things there I could go on about, but what's happening to Rapids? Well Rapids got nerfed, and I did want it to get nerfed. I want to keep that clear. Like I did want Rapids to be on par with the other stuff, and I here's what I do like. I do like what 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 it happens is in hitting rapids is it does impact ball groups. It means you can't just be in a ball group and, and make dumb decisions and be okay because you have rapids. It does do that, right? Now, it does make the skill kind of dumb, too. It's, it's kind of stupid right now for in combat. Maybe one guy has it to move around, okay. But it's pushing everything off on a purge because nobody knows how to deal with slows or snares. Board person 804, thank you for the prime. Welcome in. Bring in the biceps. Another one. Thanks for the info. Fingers first time here. It's very helpful. And sorry if I miss anything in chat. It's going and I'm I'm just I chat a lot during these. Um class passes for a sneaker being removed. It's true, though, guard. That is a hit towards snipe, and it's exactly that kind of gameplay they want to hit at. I still don't know why you can stun people from stealth with, with snipe. I think it should be reserved to things like stealth surprise attack but that's another I, I i don't care about snipe it's not breaking the game move speed will change how things how the flow of combat is and right now it's so bad in certain places it's been bad enough to get me out of battlegrounds it's been bad enough to get other people out of battlegrounds all right and cyrodiil is certainly impacted by it you gotta have a global cd on snares I, I don't think so. I think snares need to be pulled back. I think they're I think the intensity of snares needs to be dialed back big time. Okay? I've said it before, I'll say it again in short. You're either moving real fast, you're on the high end of the spectrum here. Wow, turbo speed. 
Or you're down here, you're rooted, you're slowed, you're fucked, you can't move. But there's nothing in the middle. There's nothing in the middle. If you're in combat, it's not like, hey, my speed's pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm not going turbo speed, but eh, it's okay. All right, that doesn't really exist for people. There's no middle ground for people. That should be the average. The people moving really slow, being rooted, are, should be people that are being focused by things that really hit them there. But you don't have to do it. A slow is built into every fucking set, every fucking skill. Light attack, slowed. You know, it's, it's insane. You shouldn't slow people so easily. Number one. And the real, real extreme slows should be reserved for skills that either can't be spammed, are not easy to hit, or are area of denials. But you can't just sit there and be like, yeah, used one of two skills. Boom, 80% slow. Got him. He's not going anywhere, right? Even if you invested in move speed. So if you invest in move speed, you still get fucked. If you don't invest in move speed, you still get fucked. And as a result, the best thing to do is not really invest in move speed, group up with people, stay alive, depend on each other, and slow the fuck out of the opponent and, and outnumber them. All right? That is not the gameplay I want driven. I don't want you I, I don't want that driven. When that, that when that is the option and that is the go to, everyone starts doing it. You just get the Zergy bullshit group up faction stack gameplay. You're not encouraging people to move out. You're not encouraging them to spread. Anyone that's caught out in the open gets fucked. That's what you're encouraging. You want people to spread out in Cyrodiil? You want it to stop lagging? Stop doing this shit. Yes, hit the ball groups. Yes, do that. Rapids, positive change there. No, no replacement to it, bad change. Okay, it's only going to force people to group up more, believe it or not. They're not going to have a good time running alone. Make Cinderstorm great again. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Things like that, Vixby, is where extreme slows should be reserved to. to things like that. To be like, here's a small area. It's not too crazy, right? It's a small area. If you get in it, you're going to be going slow. Not like, duh, wall elements. Hit the whole hall and inside the keep. Did anyone touch wall of elements? It's huge. Did you touch? You're slowed. Real slow. I don't want you to move. You might have got rooted too. It's on my back bar. I'm healing anyway. By the way, here comes my ice storm. You're also slowed by that. Did I mention I'm going to stun you through the block? Are you trying to fight back? Sorry, major protection for everyone here. Get fucked. It, there's just there's, there's these things that don't add up in gameplay. So so I, I don't know. I, I don't know what... I don't know if it's not... I don't know. Gan said that it's being worked on. Or there's a vision. I don't know what the vision is. Like right now. And that's what I... Fuck, I keep saying it. What is the vision for move speed? I'd like... That's what I want in here. I want that in the patch notes. I want... Where, where is it? Rapids? Okay, where... Where is it? Okay. This isn't it. Rapid maneuvers. Here we go. Spoiler. Right in here. I, I want it here. I want the vision in here somewhere. Okay. Somewhere in here. What is the vision? What is happening in, with move speed? Do you want people to have fun? Do you want them to move in PvP? Do you want everyone just, just, just slowly limping along until they die? What the fuck do you want? I don't get it because right now we're all moving slower and that was our god none of us were already moving unless we had rapids up i'm fine with getting rid of rapids but what the fuck else are you gonna do is everyone a, do we all go vamp do we all go vamp to remove snare if you're magicka and if you're if you're uh if you're stem you have to have a two-hander okay vamp or two-hander pick your poison or or if nothing's changed Everybody put on Curse Eater. Woo! Here we go. Now nothing hits us, baby. Is that Siege? Don't worry about it. Purged. Easy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading here. Anyway. I'm not, I'm not eviscerating. I'm really not eviscerating. I'm, I'm worried, okay? And I'll tell you why I'm worried. I went through this same rant with, with Merkmire. If it's not fixed in this patch, if it's not made to be more of an issue, then it's not going to get changed. I'm sorry, but I have to make a big deal out of it. And, and everybody here that agrees, you've got to make a big deal out of it too. I'm not encouraging you to be toxic. 
I'm really asking you not to be actually. You will have a negative impact on the entire cause. But what you can do is voice yourself. Let your voice be heard. Let people know you're not enjoying combat if you are being chain rooted. Let them know. Put it somewhere. Put it on a forum. Put it out there. Communicate it. Tell them. Because they didn't get it the last go around. And if, if, if you think we can just sit here for another three months in slows, then fuck that. That's what I think. Voice yourself. That's all I'm saying. I won't enjoy another three months of moving slow. And I know a lot of other people who will quit the game if they see that kind of gameplay. All right? That's all I'm saying. Do it civilly. Just communicate. That's all I'm saying. Do it civilly. I am class carried trash. What's up, Trance? You ice warden piece of shit. Good to see you, dude. It's Toxic Tuesday. Welcome in. You're, you're right at home, baby. Take a seat, Trance. Front row right for you on that ice warden build. Get it in here, baby. So I don't want to be slow, that's all. Again, this is our first patch, uh, first pass. Nothing set in stone here. They put this out. Maybe they, maybe they did plan to get to the move speed things here in two weeks. I'm not giving them the benefit of doubt this time because I did it last patch. I said, don't worry, guys. They're not going to leave Rapids in and nerf every other move speed. <laughs> that would be so dumb. And they did it. They fucking did it. So I'm not giving them the chance this time. No benefit of the doubts will be given. You ping me. What's good, Fear Turbo? I was just asking about class reps and, and, and if they agreed with this move speed stuff. Is anybody screaming about it? Because, and, and, and people said, uh, Gan the Impaler said they, they are working on a vision. And, and I'm just saying, I think we need something in between the final product of the vision and where we're at right now. Because where we're at right now is the worst move speed era ever. And by move speed, I'm encompassing the issue of your move speed, snares, roots, slows, all that stuff. I'm bundling all that in that one word, mind you. It needs to be reworked. If it doesn't, we're going to be disrupting across the horizon, all right, with ice wardens behind us, okay? So, anyway, that's just, that's just like my opinion, dude, so... I don't know. There are not so many issues with this patch. I did some testing on the PTS with CP and crit. Pet light attacks are hitting for literally over 90% more damage than last patch. Stam is getting out damaged by Magicka and PvE. While they are the ones in melee range taking risks, Curse Eater is a meme. Slows are a meme. Game is a meme. Oh, I thought you started saying there aren't so many issues with this patch. Oh, I see. You're saying the opposite. Well, yes. Curse Eater needs to go. Stam should out damage Magicka if it is in a, in a risk uh, melee, right? That should be happening anyway. I think it was only Stan Mike Blade that did though, right? Uh, so explain to me, shouldn't Stan do more if it's risking melee? Yes? No? Yes? Slows our meme, yes. Uh, Curse Eater can just be fixed. Pet light attacks hitting for over 90% does worry me. Alright. Working on a vision instead of blind man. <laughs> I'm saying magic is out damaging Stam. Oh, uh, all right. Back to the drawing table, Novi. Get it out of here. All right. Hang on a second. How does this happen, Con? K k real quick. It's it's not really my realm. PVE end game. This is where I'd bring in Alcast. Maybe Fear's still here. How have we been doing this class rep program and we can't figure out how to balance damage? in trials and stuff to just be like i can hit this dummy for 60k could you make a 58 instead yes let's knock off a little bit of this passive okay instead they're like fuck nightblade's still the best what did we do wrong fuck like how hard is this we're hitting dummies these things don't move around all we have to do is get the numbers right like what's, 
I don't understand. They did zero small tweaks to numbers. All right, I don't understand either. Okay, so it's not just me then. They changed the, the change in chance hit stand pretty hard. Oh yeah, for sure, that's gonna hit that. Yeah, yeah. So I, then I don't get it. I don't, I don't get, I don't get, what, what are we doing with that? Our feedback only goes as far as us takes it. I'm not, I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming the class reps. I do know how the class rep system works. They bring you stuff, you know, you kind of look at it, you give opinions, yada, yada. I get it. It's not like, and that's why I, I, I so you guys know, I joke around with Fear Turbo. I blame him for everything. <laughs> but Fear Turbo is not sitting there like, Rapids is now doing nothing, you know, like, I do know that, okay? I'm just fucking around. Because I, I, listen, I need to smile and laugh or I'm going to go fucking insane. All right? So I, I, I'd rather, <clears throat> rather smile and laugh a little bit here and there. Uh, should we curse ear apply to snares instead of dots? No, though. Here's the, th here's the thing. The solution to slows cannot be purge. It cannot be purge. Stam can't use purge unless you want to give me a purge in the Fighters Guild or something. Hit me up. You ready for Ice Warrens? The new Nord Racials running Curse Eater, getting 4K passive resist, getting passive alt gen with blood spawn and impreg. You ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait. They murdered Stam Sark's run game. Yeah. There's certain things I don't want to talk about, too. So I'm not. But I want to, but I'm not. So I'm not. Fuck. All right. What do you want to spend over 8K magic on cleanse? I don't want to, no. I, I'm unfortunately... I need to cast... Crit surge. I gave them feedback about sane numbers and damage. They said they already have those numbers. Our interpretation was different. And no changes were made. That sucks. Um. Yeah, that sucks. Man, this sucks too. I'm because I'm just seeing this. I'm like, okay, orcs a little weak. I have move speed issues now. A couple overpowered sets. When you have this many things ranging. Like, take your pick. Maybe maybe half of those get fixed. Fixed. Which just means some iteration of change. Ah, uh, all right. When are you starting up the Nord Army? Not. It's Toxic Tuesday. Let it rip. Complain. Mm. No. No, we're going to... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be better than that. We gotta be. Son of a, Son of a bitch. bitch. Was there anything else in here? Another one. Von Hellman coming in with a prime. Welcome in. Bring in. Another round. Hello, Kevin G. Skifting in five brand new subs. One of us. Is in deep One of us. Kevin. Thank you for gifting in five brand new recruits. Funky Redneck, welcome in. We had Squirp coming in. Eat Leads coming in. Philip. Welcome in. 400 weapon damage in the flanking set. Where's this? Flanking strategist now gives 400 weapon damage on the target when attacking from the side or back. Fix an issue where it's increasing healing. Done. Engine guardian. Fix an issue where this cannot trigger from health cause. That's good. Uh, Grothdar. Fix an issue. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, fix an issue where this dot could be blocked. Okay. Plague slinger. Fires. Five instead of four. After one second delay instead of 1.5. It has low DPS output. Reduce the delay of the first hit to ensure hitting the enemy with at least one poison shot and increased number of projectiles. Okay. All right. Real quick. 
here is some info and and my you know just a little feedback again i already said it earlier but we can make an example of it send this off to someone that's not going to listen he probably does the job but again these sets okay plague slinger can be dodged okay you can run away from it too this set should be stronger than say something like Calorians where or or the ice one that was added here for 19,000 undodgeable damage. Things like that should have more counterplay. They should have the most counterplay. This proc is not that strong. Plague Slinger, I tried it. It's not that good. It really isn't. Recklin, thank you for the prime. Welcome in. Thank you. That'll, of course, help it. That'll make it better. I didn't say Ice Race set was undodgeable, just unreflectable. Oh, I asked. People, like, four people said it was undodgeable. Maybe I'm wrong there. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't try the new ones yet, so I, I can't verify. I haven't been on the PTS yet. The Sentinel set redesigned the functionality of the, Dwem the Dwemer Spider Summon. The pet will no longer attempt to follow the target it's trying to heal. The pet can no longer be targeted. Oh, this is good. Yeah, so it just acts as a... Okay. That's, that's nice. This set will no longer drop bows and stabs as the item sets trigger off the melee lights. Okay. Son of a bitch. Um... The, sea, the snares from Siege Scatter and Siege Treb Ice Ball can now be purged. Mender Guards now have damage shields that soak up damage appropriately. Toro, sir, and thank you for the T1. Welcome in. Another one. Expanded the subzones between keeps and resources. Better permit credit assignment of attack and defense bonuses. Okay, they mean the zones, the, the perimeters. They expanded them. This is going to impact camps. You can't put camps inside these zones. Yeah, it could fuck up some camp spots. Probably will. Increase the defense AP for keeps and outposts. Okay. Siege weaponry that applies dots will no longer break invisibility from players and hit. Why? I still don't get it. Can somebody send me on Discord like a GIF? Or a picture of an invisible person burning. I think Hollow Man did it, right? Did they set him on fire? Let's see. Come on, Hollow Man. Don't let us down. Where is he? I don't know. I can't find one. All right, I still don't get it. I don't get it. All right. So, is this it in here for this? What about the guards? Are we still going to negate through doors? Can we, can we bullet this in here? Guards will still cast negate through walls. Guards will still use Eclipse from 2014 that reflects every single skill in the game on you. Get fucked. Hashtag get fucked. Like, are those still in there, dude? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you gotta love Kevin Bacon. We do. <laughs> you mean the major resolve and why they give? They still have it on their skill. It's just stupid to put it on a set. Okay. Ooh, son of a bitch. They still haven't fixed Garza Clips? No. No, it's it's still doing... Like, it's it, we're, it's still the old Eclipse. Yeah, just the old... It's some mega form of Eclipse. It reflects everything you do on you. But okay. The belly and the leg straps on the Badger Bear no longer clip while running. All right. This might be about where I wrap it up. Ooh, 
son of a bitch. There's some housing, quests, UI. Gamepad mode. Son of a bitch. There's a fix for the Intric feet? Yes. Are you still complaining? Are you still tuning in in the background getting free drops in this channel? Angry that someone is on the internet complaining? Yes, I'm I'm still complaining. I apologize. I apologize for reviewing this game. What a sin. Does anyone remember the, the good old sprint bug? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. How dare you, no kidding. Let me pop in this man's chat and give him a hard time. He won't say nothing after that. Nothing. Nothing in chat. God damn it, and Thorn banned him just as well, Thorn. He wasn't gonna speak up. Nothing. Crickets. Okay. I remember when orcs were fast. Yeah, me too. I remember when I had move speed as an option in my build. To be like, hey guys, welcome to this build. This really relies on move speed. Just kidding. Wrong patch. Not in the current vision for 2019. We'll see next patch. Maybe when the dragons come out. Maybe that's the goal. Maybe everyone's going to be flying. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I want to see the vision, that's all. All right? I said it last year at the end. All right? They got a new guy. Remember Fear Turbo? New guy was coming in. We all got excited. He's like, listen, I'm from League of Legends. Okay? Got a new vision. Okay? Now, part of that vision is coming in and cleaning up. I get it. You gotta, you gotta come in, you gotta identify the messes, all right? So you get time, you get some months to get things in order. Be like, this needs to be changed. We're gonna have to work on that. We need a solution for this. Long term, short term, mid term, here we go. Move speed, where's it at though? We're just slowing down, dude. It's really, for me, that is like, that was last patch and it's getting worse this patch. It's not a dress, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a rough ride. And um, and indefensible. I, I I won't be able to defend anything against it. We're getting dragons. Oh yeah! Spoiler alert: dragons are coming. It's the name of the new guy. I mean, you can look it up somewhere. It's on there. Are you posting the review on YouTube? Yes. Explosion change is just another poop change. Makes Cirks lose more. What made Cirks unique? I think it's bad for Stam Cirks. I don't think it's too bad. Like Stam Cirks will have opportunities. They can use it. Like with a two-hander, I wouldn't mind it. I can't use a two-hander. I can't really move. I can't wrecking blow people when I'm when I'm getting rooted between every combo. I can go cast forward momentum, switch to my bar, light attack, poison inject, switch back to two-hander, come in for a light attack uppercut. I'm fucking rooted. Forward momentum's done at that point. Like it's all that it's all happening that quick. You can't be just no one wants gameplay where it's like forward momentum every Every constant second. Nobody wants to play a game that does that. Nobody. All right. And and I know I know the people at ZeniMax are aware of this too. Um, not only that move speed's an issue, but I know it's also in their model to try to make the game enjoyable. They they've tried to take things out that seemed repetitive or redundant oh, or, or stupid. Um, and you know some of the changes they made the PVE rotations they made them easier by just being like listen you gotta weave light attacks now uh, and, and, and now it's like and in PvP you have to weave fucking snare removal I don't want to weave snare removal it's dumb it's but you should assume that your full time snared or rooted in PvP and it's only going to increase alright 
not all you guys are in high-end BGs. It's a big thing there. Those people will push it out in mass to Cyrodiil when you have no way to defend yourself. People can run those builds because they will succeed more so on them. They won't run into groups that have rapids up. Because if you ran into groups that had rapids up, they'd say, fuck it, I'm not running this build. But once they can start hitting every person they run into, bet your ass that shit just doubles, triples out there. You're going to see tons of it. So you don't see it now. You don't see it now, but it'll happen. That's why you need to talk with people that are actually out there on the battlefield and say, so what do you think of this? Well, it's a bad idea. That's what I think. You know, And then you tell them why it's a bad idea. And then they change it. Not do nothing. Just weave shuffle, bro. I'm not doing it. I'm not weaving shuffle. Anywho, if someone purchased poison eject, does that mean the master's bow damage drops? I don't know. I never tested it. It's worth trying. It's very it's possible it could. But I don't know. I don't think so. I think when you use that weapon and you poison inject and that condition is met, you probably receive a buff for the assumed twelve ten seconds or whatever. But it could. I have no fucking idea how it works. It's all how they do it on their end. Yes, it does, says two people. So maybe it does. What change are you discussing now? I was just tuned in. I was just summed up. I was just talking about move speed in general. That is my opening, closing, and theme of the patch. Going into 2019, move speed. Okay. I, I Something's got to give. That's what I think, at least. Feel free to post your suggestions or comments. The snare and stuck in combat patch. Oh, God, yeah. Everybody's stuck. I just did two emperors during Mid-Year Mayhem. One solo run and Rapids was the only way to get away from 70 people. Yeah. You get outnumbered, like. So it's going to be more outnumbering, slowing them down. Like, there's there's not only a slows and snares uh, unenjoyable, but it's impactful in a different way on how the fight pans out. You can run people out of resources if they can never. If they can never disconnect from the fight, that is why, like, you just pack on more survival. It, it doesn't add up. It doesn't work. It's not a good idea. Overall positive, though, yes. Um, there's There's a lot of change that makes sense in there, yeah. I think there's some really extreme things that are missing that just leave me dumbfounded. As if... I, I literally could have played nothing of Merkmire patch. I could have played nothing, gathered no feedback or experience. That's what I feel like these patch notes are. I, 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 feel, like, I feel like people that are PvPing are not included in that. Like, the, the general gameplay experience is not in the patch notes for, for a high-end pvp or Just nothing, dude. But here's the thing. It's really going to start rolling down quick on people. It's going to roll down real quick. Eight months from ZRT. Thank you. Roll, melee, magicka, no problem with the next patch. Will be fun. At least you can get that siege damage off you, dude. 